Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and Darcy's here. I'm here! Welcome, welcome, and at least one cat is here. But he, only one cat eyeball. Yeah, he hurt his eye yesterday. I don't know how or when. Oh, look at the camera. No, he's not. You okay. he can't see his eye. It's fair. It's <laughs> like, ah. Uh, that's a fair. Oh, you have the wrong name. <clears throat> um, that doesn't help. Let's fix that right now. There, now you're the proper person. <laughs> not an imposter. No delay day. Yeah, usually with Darcy, it's not usually a delay. Um, we've got three games today. There's usually a delay, but it goes up when um, Dan ABC uh, <laughs> says it's a two minute warning. And he didn't that, today. He didn't today. So he that's... didn't, so we're on time. It's all Dan's fault, usually. <laughs> it's, um, all, it's all Dan's fault that we're on time? Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. For not doing something. <laughs> How does that work? Uh, we're going to be playing three Atari 7800 games today. The first one being Night Guy in Another Castle by Woo! VHZC. Uh, second one, Lear the Ten Wreck. And third one, Stone Age. We have an exclusive update for that game by 2600. But first, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. Andrea Atari, I'm Scar Coder, Atari 800, XL Rules, Atari 74, Atari Beef Supreme, Bia Pro Cop, Buffalo Pinball, Chelsea Don Mod, Charles Will and Chitlow, Cubanismo, Cyrano Reboot, Drexel, Drifting Snow, Dr. Moo Cows, Gamma Dev, Glenn Main, Great Defender, Grunge, Rapper, Johnny WC, Computer Kenzo, Carl G. Crocker, 2600, Developed for Lambda Express, Mark Yannis, Mark Space, Sig, Metal Atari, McMuse, Mike Soul, Mixed Hell, Mixter, Zarno, Mist Fix, Mighty Fun, Stenasis, Rem, Neo, Mean, Nostalgia, Pack Rat, Cog, 2600, R70, Rhino Ghost, Brentless, V2, Revan, Tuli, Rado, Pim, Rodcaster, Smitty B, Spice War, Spinley, S. Ramirez, the D-Train, Tiki Dan K, Trek, MD, Vexrex, Vintage Gaming, Memory, Vitoko, VVG, Double Down, and X, Ken X. If you would like to support the show, you can. You can just hit subscribe. Um, or you can support it by just being here. Or just by following. Or subscribing on YouTube. Speaking of which, we just passed 2,000 subscribers. Woo! on YouTube. Nice. It is not much in the scheme of things for YouTube. Um, a lot of people have a lot of subscribers. Yeah. But for this, you know, community. Yeah, yeah. It's, this it's niche community, like it's it's it, not even it's a part of the community because we just focus on the homebrews, not the general 2600 games of past, but specifically homebrews. So I'm very happy with that and the support that everybody has given us. And they continue to watch after all these years. Um, no, you can't subscribe to your own channel. I don't think you can. Um, let me try that. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can't because <laughs> you're just made noises. I'm the oh bad my one. Goodness. You're fired. You're fired. Let me see if there. Export. Oh, and auto played something. Uh, no, there is no subscribe button on your own channel. So, no, you can't subscribe to your own channel. Um, so it says 2001 subscribers now. I was, I was a little worried because we surpassed the 2000 yesterday. See, he heard an alert, and now he's on his phone. But well, it's my wife. <laughs> Urgent. Um, so I'm Urgent. Where's the giving pepper? Giving her the courtesy of saying, oh, we're doing the Twitch stream now. I can't find the pepper in the cupboard. Please tell me where it is. <laughs> <laughs> that could happen. Yeah. Except that literally, uh, when I left, half the cupboards had been put back up on the wall and were oh. all empty, and then more were put. So if, if there's probably... pepper in a cupboard and nobody knows where it is, it's going to be me. <laughs> I mean, where's my pepper? <laughs> I think I sublimity thought that because you're, you're redoing the cupboards in yeah. your kitchen. Just, that's but not, funny. not new cupboards. Just moving them <laughs> up, up half yeah. an inch. No, no, imperceptibly it's, it's like, amount. No, it's like five inches. It's very okay. That is quite a bit. It's very perceptible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, going to be very cool. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Thank <clears> you so much for supporting the show. And to Darcy for still sticking around after almost six years <laughs> doing this show as well. Putting up with it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I do so much. <laughs> I'm such a, it waggles the joystick every a once in a while. to the whole operation. <laughs> That's right. Without Darcy, it would fall apart. <laughs> 
without uh, Darcy would be exactly like it is with, on most Darcy. of the shows where he is not here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and and we actually did do went for a while, like a year and a half, with only Tanya because yeah. of reasons and worldwide I, reasons. And I mean, there were some benefits to a pandemic. You got higher quality shows. <laughs> Tanya For was here all the time. Of time. <laughs> but then we had to go back to the regular shows. Yeah. Um, speaking uh, my of wife's, you know, family are Dutch. And yes. I'm reasonably tall. So, yeah. That's pretty much <laughs> oh, it. I see. <laughs> to a Dutch family. Um, yeah, they're both tall people. Um, <laughs> Speaking of YouTube, um, I have a question about YouTube. Do you watch YouTube videos with clickbait thumbnails or titles? Like how, more, more succinctly, how do clickbait thumbnails or titles affect your YouTube viewing habits? Uh, one, I actively avoid them. Do not reward it. Number two, they don't influence me. I watch for the content. Three, they make me want to click, and sometimes I do. Four, I'm a sucker for clickbait. Um, I really, 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 really despise clickbait um, thumbnails. I, hey, that's I, me. I really, really. And not much of a delay. <laughs> not much of a delay. Um, because they're all like, they, they, they have the thing that their video is about. Say it's about video games. And they're like, one. Actively avoid them. Do not reward it. Uh, I, I I do not say that I think that's how people should be. Uh, but yeah, like I will see a, I will see a video and I'll be like, okay, I want to watch that video. Yes. Not because of the clickbait, but because of the topic. And yeah. I know the clickbait. And then I will not watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Actively not watch it. Because of yeah. the the biggest one, thumbnail. the biggest one is uh, boobies. If there's like, <laughs> if there's like somebody, if there's like some hot, some picture of some, some hotness on the screen, right. and I'm like, but it's in that case, it's it's like, I don't want my YouTube uh, screen to be yes. just boobs everywhere, and that's. Yeah. I have clicked on a video because I know that the video is not about that. I know that that's the clickbait. <laughs> yes. And then, like, the instances of videos being suggested because they have boobs and the the, yeah. the title just goes way up. And I'm just like, Ugh. Yeah, yeah. So, Anything you reward will give you more of that. Yeah. A topic. And it's so... A type of thumbnail. It's so, like... Yeah, like, it's, so, it's able to tell that, yeah, the video thumbnail had boobs on it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not, oh, the, it it's not just a topic. It's, yeah. Then there's the ones... Not even click. I guess it's clickbait where they have their mouths open. Yeah, that one doesn't bother me. That one doesn't bother me. The one that does <laughs> is stop doing this. Oh yeah, I'm, and it's so and irritating it, because I can tell from the topic that I want to watch the video, but I'm so annoyed with the the what? stop doing this, and I'm like, oh. Or God. you'll never believe. You'll never believe what's on level five. <laughs> I can't believe Atari released this. That kind of thing. Uh, yeah, vague, 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 what is it called? No, not on YouTube, but on, um, say, social media. Vague baiting, vague posting. It's something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, oh, today was the worst. And that's all they put. And that elicits people, oh, what happened, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's the same with YouTube uh, titles. Yeah. Let's see, or the comment on the yeah, graphic. Yeah. It's like, I can't believe they did this, or the worst ever, or, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's usually a negative yeah. thing. Yeah. People and that's what I, that, that respond me. to yeah. negativity they a do. lot they more do. than positivity. Yeah. Um, and I've actively avoided it yeah. on my YouTube. I put, here's the cartridge labels, and underneath for the title, here's the game names. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure I've suffered because of that, because... You know, that's how but it's, it relates back to subscribers. There really is no winning for me because the reason I do it is not because it's not, I'm not taking an idealistic stance. Yeah. I'm doing it because I, 
because I'm correct in what the consequence will be. Yeah, you know that. It's because there is a consequence. That's why I do and, it. It's like... Same with social media. <clears throat> if you start clicking on certain things, your feed will be that yeah, it. Yeah, and it's, it. that sucks. Yeah, You'll be... Your bubble will go like this <laughs> into just that. And, and of like course, what says, on, what is saying, it's like ask people if they're influenced by ads. Most will say no, yet they... But, but, they, but they are. Like, m that's actually my point is that like... Like I, I am influenced by. It. Like I'm saying that you're, I am influenced by. It. Like those things do it. draw my. T I'm resist. I have to consciously resist it. Yeah. 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 And in terms of like. Yeah, the, I don't put my face in. You. And the, the you, truth is, you really should, most of the time, yeah. put boobs on your thumbnail because you will get more what more yeah, views. Exactly. <laughs> that's that's the issue. That's, that's like, the annoying thing is that it it does work. It's it you are you're works. doing it wrong if you don't. If you don't, uh, you don't necessarily have. I'm just saying boobs, but like, <laughs> whatever. If you don't have a. If you don't have a big uh, clickbait, you're you know. you're essentially doing it wrong. Because like, yeah. the good popular shows do it. Yeah. The, what you need, the thing that the thing where people go wrong is they only have clickbait titles and thumbnails and don't have good content. <laughs> oh, and what you need, you do have to back it up the with good, good content. Let's assume so, yeah, good yeah, content. Yeah. yeah. Because people won't come back. They'll go, oh, that channel, they just do clickbait and it's garbage. Yeah. Um, and I've heard channels say, yeah, we do clickbait thumbnails. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. hate doing it, but we have to pander to the algorithm and what people, not even, I mean, they say algorithm to shift blame. But it's the viewers. It's the people. People act. Act. Real people click on it. Yeah. Um, but also, it the algorithm rewards that, and you click on that, and it gives you more. Well, of it. I have it on my uh, how to install a, a electric. Thank you, motor. Ground Trooper, and also one second. Yeah. Uh, and also Raymond C and Dan ABC and Al Nefer all nice. resubscribed. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, and supporting non clickbait. <laughs> Now with, um, now, with the, now with the boobs. You know, like like I have it on my oh, yeah. how to install video. Yes. Like the title is how to install electric sailboat motor, but the 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 thumbnail says electric electric motor upgrade. Poor kitty. Yeah. Which I would never I wouldn't choose the word upgrade. <laughs> I just it's not very clickbaity. Upgrade, but it's like yeah. it it's like the word upgrade is charged. It's like, oh I'm upgrading it. And I don't and I get I get comments of people being like, "Oh, you're pushing the electric motor thing, and they're no good, and they have limitations." And I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm <laughs> I watch. I after I had a few of these, I watched the video, and I'm like, I don't, I don't say anything Not like that. I don't, for I don't it. tell anybody you should do this. This is the way of the future. I don't say anything like that. It's purely. Assuming you want to put it in, this is how you do it, right? It's like ice engines are the worst, and I'm doing it for the yeah, environmentalism. Yeah, like, like and I hate boats that make yeah, noise. I don't and... have anything like that in it. Yeah. It's just about the thing. <laughs> and then I was, I was like, oh, it's just the, it's just the thumbnail. It's just the thumbnail, and they're not like. <laughs> They're not even watching. I don't even know. I, they probably the people who are angriest probably didn't even watch it. They just saw the thing. I get comments from now and it. then where I'm like, "Did you watch the video?" Yeah. Like the answer of the question you're posing is in the video that you obviously. Yeah, didn't watch. I get a lot of those. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I get a lot of those. Uh, Thrust says news websites do the same. Also tech websites, news, like yeah. All, yeah. Because it draws in eyeballs, yep. the negativity, the bright colors, the I can't believe this happened, the um, fly catching mouth is open, pointing at things. And uh, the before the internet, the, the news did that perspective. Too. The, yeah. Before the internet, like the regular news, like the cable news, TV, you know, whatever. Yeah. News networks, they did it too. Oh yeah. They'd be like, oh, coming up, two people are fighting about a thing, and it's very dramatic. And, you know, <laughs> even I brought, I brought this one up because, oh, it's Atari's first game in 30 years. And there's like a million videos about it. <clears throat> and they all kind of neglect, gloss over that people have been making homebrew mm. for 30 years, right? Yeah. And people are like, oh my God, a new game for this old system. Wow. 
you, you do know there's hundreds every but, year but released. But to be fair to those people, they don't know that. They don't. But also, they literally don't know that. The yeah. video, the person doing, oh, the, doing video the video is yeah, also yeah, feeding yeah. into that yeah. ignorance yeah. of there's hundreds of amazing games that people in this chat yeah. have made. And, and it's just so annoying yeah. that the clickbait feeds into this ignorance rather than going, oh, yeah, it's it's a game. It's a game in a sea of games. And why are you highlighting this? Because they put the title first. New Atari 2600 game in a billion years. Whatever, right? Um, what a yeah, Ivory Tower Collections. I don't even I don't even show my face in most videos, less making any thumbnails. Um, that's another thing people do. They make it about them. Sometimes They're, that is again. Sometimes that is the right decision because sometimes, sure. sometimes they're that's that's their that's channel. The interest is, is the people want to watch more about that person or what have you. Right? There's this and one I, sailing show that I watch, and they just switched from being a sailing show to uh, they bought a. A property on in Puerto Rico, like a big acreage that's overgrown jungle, yeah. and now it's the overgrown jungle uh, <laughs> podcast uh, or or a uh, YouTube channel, yeah. and like <laughs> and they have shifted. more they have more viewers than ever. <laughs> like it worked, right? yeah, yeah. And People it's because make, them, it's right? Like they're doing the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah I've yeah. never put my face in a thumbnail. It's always about the games. It's a and that's what I want to promote is the games. But would it do better if but like Darcy you, you and I were had... like? <gasps> In the thumbnail. <laughs> it, it might. might. It might. Let's do it. We're going to have to do it on this one. And I hold Oh, it would be appropriate for this one. <laughs> because it's about clickbait <laughs> thumbnail. That's right. Or it it's not about, but it has no. that in it. Yeah, oh, no, yes, we definitely have to do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> there. Okay, there we go. There's, our, there's <laughs> our thumbnail. Oh, that was enough. <laughs> First Atari branded game. And Atari's just an IP. Uh, yeah. All <clears throat> The video to me, uh, Viry Tower Collection video to me is about the item or purpose of the video. I'm just the narrator, not the star, and certainly not the subject. Yeah, I've, I haven't made these videos about me or the show. It's like focus on the games. That's but, the but star. A, okay, it's true, and I I am inclined to do the same thing. But at a certain point, yeah. okay. So if say there's a channel and they do a good job and you're like oh i watch these videos because every one of those videos is good because the person doing it is good and it's yes. because the people behind that channel are doing a good job and yes. so having that person can be like a, the legitimate brand because they yep. they're the re it, even the stuff they're talking about isn't the thing that makes it good it's them and so true it is legitimate at a certain point to i mean you can go too far and some people it's like the only thing that they do and of course you know we don't all like that <laughs> yeah and I, mean, I mean this is the only channel dedicated to atari homebrew yeah that's it yeah so i don't need to stand out yep. amongst other you do you have atari to stand out amongst all the videos that people might watch about video games yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah i do have to stand out about other videos um <clears throat> other channels do atari homebrew yeah but that's not their it's only not their, thing they their do. Only thing, yeah. At at best, they do Atari, and they happen to include homebrew. No, 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 that's not working. Yeah, thrust, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of channels where they have clickbait, and this is how, like I know yeah. that I'm just being sensitive to some of it, yeah. but some of it has a bigger impact on my list of videos, <laughs> and that's the main thing. But there, there are almost no channel well no it's, that's not true there's lots i watch that don't do it but also they're yeah. not they're not as big <laughs> because they don't that's <laughs> true yeah and the bigger um, ones have a little bit of clickbait and you can like you can have less offensive clickbait and i can understand because those channels that's their business that's their income and if they can get 10 percent, 20 30 percent more income yeah. by doing a, a thumbnail and also i don't know if you've ever seen this you probably are aware of it. They do A B comparisons of thumbnails, uh, where certain demographics or certain people are served in YouTube. Yep. Oh. Or they serve it for an Is hour. It, like, do you have to have enough? Uh, I don't know subscribers how before you get that option. Or? I, I haven't looked. I haven't <laughs> looked into it. But maybe, maybe you have to have a better relationship. But I've I haven't yeah. looked into it because I'm definitely not there with my two thousand. 
Um, Tamara but, would love to do that with her books. Covers. Yeah, yeah book, book covers. covers. And she's done it with ads on Facebook. Like, oh, she hasn't done that for yes. a while. But she used to have, she'll have, have, she'll have multiple that's, out. And that's then easier. she would see, oh, this one is getting all the attention. And I've done and that. And you learn so much from doing it that way. And I've know? done that with ads for my film, my last film. We did A, B comparisons. And then yeah. one was way more and you just drop that one. Yeah. And you put all the money into the, the other one. And they do that with A, B thumbnails. And some of the channels I subscribe to, I look at the thumbnail when it first comes up. And then later on in my feed, it's oh. like, what the hell? I, that wasn't the thumbnail. Yeah, I've seen thumbnails change. And I've also seen like the titles, the video title change. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's like, and I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I wondered, it, it's probably just what you're saying, but at the time I thought, oh, was that offensive? Was the previous one offensive or <laughs> no. something? Like, did they change it because uh, of backlash? But it was, yeah, probably just it's that. It's A-B comparisons. <clears throat> uh, Gamma Dev, you won't believe this entire game could fit in a couple tweets. That's true. Some of the 10-line competitions could fit in a number of tweets. Uh, I found fascinating that Netflix has different thumbnails based on the profile of the person. Yeah, that's uh. really interesting. So it has permanent thumbnails. It's like, like, no matter how small the part was that, is that, a... yeah, <laughs> no, sorry. I'm making a joke about small parts oh, but... and the hottest uh. male cast member. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They would, they would present female cast members or yeah. male cast yeah. members or cats or yeah. whatever in the thumbnail because you like movies that have a male dominated cast or female that. dominated cast it's it's to get you to watch certain shows or you like uh, a certain um movie star and you watch yeah. and netflix notices oh you seem to watch a lot of movies with so and so yeah. we're gonna any movie they're in no matter how small the part um <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna definitely be on the poster right yeah that yeah. it's it's fascinating how subliminally and subtly we're manipulated unknown unbeknownst to yeah. us or unbeknownst to many most people i'm aware yeah, of that's always the thing for i'm me fascinated like, by this is it stuff. like a is it a fair manipulation and what c constitutes fair like it's like it's like there have always been doing it yeah. But if they're doing a one size fits all manipulation, then we feel like that's more fair because yes. then they have to like go, have, okay, what is the thing that they're they're trying they have selling to be this? Super bland and watered down and and or huge or demographics or do the thing that gets them the most impact, whatever it is. Yep. I don't know. Uh, they can do it. <laughs> Should all, be, all cat thumbnails, yes. Oh, it's a moment of silence while my browser is blocking an ad. <laughs> so funny. I just realized that you and Stuart Ashton are both filmmakers and YouTubers. That's that that is very true. I watch uh, Stuart uh, Ashton's channel. I love his channel, uh, his sense of humor. I lot of I watch a lot of British um, YouTubers, in fact, um, because I love their sense of humor. Um, uh, case in point, PewDiePie. <laughs> A lot of his thumbnails have literally, and titles have literally nothing to do with the video. And he fully embraces and acknowledges that and makes fun of it. Um, and that's an example of complete trickery of what, the, because he just but does fact, random crap. But right? the fact that, yeah, yeah, that and that's, that's... I mean, he hardly puts any But the fact that he now, but. Uh, points it out and laughs at it. <laughs> Welcome back, Thrust! Uh, and the fact that he points it out makes it not quite complete trickery. Yes. And yeah, yeah. yeah. It's That's ironic. The thing. It's That's ironic. The thing. Like, at that and point. it depends who you talk to. Some people will be like, well, that does not make it better. Yeah. And some people like me would be like, okay, I'm okay with it then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I don't. Because you've addressed I, that you are being a manipulative uh, b hole. Yeah. So I don't not watch. Have we talked about videos. the difference between a b hole, an a hole, and a b hole? <laughs> <laughs> and the a b-hole a b-hole a b-hole <laughs> is a euphemism for a-hole so it's yes. like a-hole is a euphemism for the other thing and then b-hole <laughs> is the euphemism for sort of it's like a there's like a square it's like but it's funny to put them side by side because yeah. a and b yeah. is there a c-hole yeah, i guess there would be eep but that's worse next. that's like that's like next bad, next topic better bad better way worse way worse <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
Um, so let's get to the four and three. Okay. Um, so let's get to, <laughs> oh, actually, let's see what the, uh, the outcome is. Uh, 46%, they don't influence me. I watch for the content. Uh, second place, 30%, I actively avoid them. Uh, do not reward it. Uh, third place with 15%, they make me want to click, and sometimes I do. And 7%, I'm a sucker for clickbait. Kind mm. of how I thought it would go. Uh, so, first game today. So, yes. The, uh, I clicked one because it was the most true, but I'm really between one and two. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't... Or I am one and two. I don't click on them. Yeah. Because yeah. you probably have channels that... Uh, yeah, it depends on what it is. Or if I'm... If it's... Yeah, anyways. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Stop trying to drag us back into the conversation we just ended. Okay, guys? <laughs> now they can just blame AI for it, even though they've been doing it for years on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there, are, there we're going to be... And, and I'm using massive hyperbole when I say this. Yeah. Massive hyperbole. We're going to be enslaved to AI. Yeah. Uh, Mentally. We're going to be enslaved to AI because it's going to be able to do things so, so effortlessly. Yeah. That People the effort in. to do it better oh, it's will be better. so much more that we will just do the, and the most effective and possibly most offensive AI. <laughs> yeah, I bet there is some channels somewhere that all their thumbnails are based on tags of the video and yeah. it's auto-generated. At some point, you're going to get you're going to get two thumbnails, one for your right eye and one for your left <laughs> eye, because one side of your brain prefers one type and the other side yeah. prefers, and it's like it's going to be down to that, and like it's going to be so <laughs> because it'll be so effortless dual, to do that. What? Dual mono visual input. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. And and it'll auto recognize which eye is more excited about one and then that'll be the one. Yeah. Oh, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Anything you can think up, uh mm -hmm. dystopian is is bound to happen in some form. Because somebody will want to do it. Okay, first game today we're gonna be playing is Night Guy in Another Castle. Uh we played this before, but this is an update. He's added a whole bunch more stuff. So let's get that low dead up. Go. We'll switch over. Hand it to Darcy first while I read out what the updates are. And I think I saw VHZC in the chat. So he is here to support us and answer any questions about his game. Night Guy in Another Castle demo a point two. VHC games. So I think you were here last time for this. Yep. Okay, so you're familiar with the screens. That's looking good on the stream. The grays are showing up nicely. Um, so, you know VHZC from such games as... I'm going to read them all out. A Roach in Space, A Roach in Space 2, po Cosmic Boogaloo, Canonica, Canon and D, D for Defense, Doremi, Draco, Game of the Bear, Game of the Bear 2, Much to Bear, I Ran, Keep Them Out, Night Guy in Another Castle, Night Guy in Low Res World, Castle Days, Night Guy on Board, 30 Squares of Fate, Night Guy Quest for Something, oh. Low Res Car, Low Res Racer, Night Guy in Low Res World, Ninjish Guy, Perilous Island, Oh no, more peril. Uzi the Goo Gaiden. Uzi the Goo Maze Quest. Peril. Slide Boy in Maze Land. He's done a lot of games. Uh, so this is Demo 2, and this was released uh, a couple days ago on December 3rd. Uh, he forgot about that. says... Oh, the fall through? Uh, uh, lots of new content and mechanics. A second boss battle. That's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, and more screens. 30 screens in this release. <clears throat> I think AI will prefer to manipulate us. So far, Mars is the only known planet inhabited completely by robots. But not much AI happening. No, I think it's uh, mostly still commanded completely. I don't know if there is any AI on um, any of the rovers that have landed but on is, Mars. Is, is it all pure commands? How... how Okay, so do you have? Does anybody have AI on their computer, or is it like 
a like big server based AI that's just like web based. You can run it on your computer, I believe. It's 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 but it's better on a big supercomputer because you can give it more. Uh, but can is there any AI? Okay, we've we're long since the days where uh, if you ran a program, it was on your computer. Yes, um, <laughs> long past. But are actually, there... it used to be servers. Then it went to computers. Yeah. Then it's now back to servers again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now we're we're like in back to terminal land. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pretty much, we're just web browsers <clears throat> yeah. looking at things on other systems. Even but, video uh, games have gone that way. The PS Five handheld. Yeah, it streams. Has nothing on it. Yeah. It just streams video and, and sends and your this, input back. This, uh, the uh, Steam Deck can do that too. Can stream yeah. your PS5 apparently. But it can also play, which makes it infinitely yeah, yeah. better than the yeah. PS5 dumb terminal. Yeah. But um, is there an AI that you can install on your computer? Or is it I, all like, no, we have it all on our server. I, I would I'm, imagine it's all, we have it on our servers and I'm stop asking. I'm fairly ignorant about it yeah. uh, in many aspects, but wouldn't, once you've run the data set and made the black box of AI for your data set, it wouldn't be much processing power to send an input to it on your own computer and get an output. I'm sure, yeah, there's processing because it has to run it through algorithms to find the output. But I think okay, the so major when, processing is the input of all the data. So, but when chat GPT, chat, yeah, chat yeah, GPT, that's the most famous um, of them. When it answers your question, yeah. does it just search the internet? No, no. No, it has it's a, a data snapshot. Set. Yeah. Right. And, and then so, they would update that snapshot every. But every like, once isn't in a while. that amount like how? Isn't that too big to fit on a regular computer? That might be the limitation. That's what I'm. Is that's what size. I mean, though. Is yeah. the size right? Like, you can't just install it. So my point is that like, is it even play the game? Pra is it Talk in any way practical? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it any way practical to have uh, a high on Mars? <laughs> uh. Like, they'd have to send hardware. Well, spe specific. Like Thrust says, even 2600 games have AI, just very simple ones. So, yeah, but, but we're talking about, like, like the modern, like, AI. Well, the, the rovers wouldn't have that. No. But, um... They have, like, non-modern AI, because they have to make decisions. I don't know. Do they? Yeah, or, of course. Um... No, they have to. Be, they uh, when, when and when I say AI, mm -hmm. I'm talking about Minus like how the decisions. 2600 has AI. It's oh, okay. like, oh, if you're about to fall into a, a cliff, don't stop. <laughs> don't fall into the cliff. Yes, this or, is correct. <laughs> or this is drive forward, but as you hit rocks, do different things to work oh. your way through those oh, rocks. To lose. Don't don't try your trick. <laughs> I was gonna. That you ha somehow did. Last show, which I could I'm not very do. talented. Oh, yeah. Go, Darcy! Oh, the, the... I didn't... This is new. No, no, no. No, no. What is new? These cannons... Oh, maybe they're just out of sync? But they are now firing oh, at the same time. They are, and when I got here initially, they were it was 1-1. One, one. Go to the left and then come back. Because that's I'm the, just wondering if, if it's like they got more difficult like they changed when you press the button um that's what i, I know, think some some oh, oh no, they are no, no now it's back to normal yeah it's pr probably because you're coming from a different direction and okay, vhz let's... sees like oh that other direction's much harder but they're now i bet if you went back up all right and then came back in like up the ladder it would switch back to that other oh squish that other way of um showing it or uh the synchronization oh <laughs> smash <laughs> destruction still squinty huh yeah he was looking not so happy in the in the hallway okay little man um but i mean he's in generally good spirits 
So, and it's not like... He's not like rubbing at it too much. No, he's, I haven't seen him rub at it. But he did just leave from getting pets. Well, and that's the opposite of the normal Atari reaction. Yeah, he's normally like leans into more pets. Maybe don't rub his face. Hey, buddy. He's probably quite... Oh, he's opening it a little bit Come on more, back. maybe. Come on back, y'all. <laughs> Come on back, y'all. This is open to you too, Sprite. Any kittens can jump up here. <laughs> Any and... cats are allowed? Both of them are like, eh. I mean, both of you can come up here if you want. Just to half That's, sit on each other. Yeah, that doesn't work. Usually it's Atari comes, and then Sprite comes, and then Atari goes, ugh. This cat. <laughs> this cat. I don't want to deal with this cat. Oh, look. No, look. I'm coming down. <laughs> How did you... Look. I am special. How did you do that? That's so weird. Huh. So that was probably an error that they were in sync. And it's really like, it's it's a case of they fire at the same time or they fire opposite. Oh my God. Yeah. Too close to the fire. Too, too, too close to the fire. That is not the lyrics, but what? I'm not strong enough. Um, <laughs> ah, that is misquoted prodigy lyrics. Ah, go down. Oh no, did I do it wrong? Oh my god. No, oh, too far. Okay, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, he turned green. Did he turn green if you don't stab him? I can't remember the the pattern. For, oh my god! I don't think you can. See, so yeah, he turned green. I think he's healing. Oh no! He's definitely healing. There were plus signs above his head. What? <laughs> You gotta stab him. Oh, he turns gotta, green for a second. No, but if you don't... Okay, do you don't believe me? Just don't do anything. Watch. Green, and he's got plus signs. Well, he's like, ah, I'm so happy. <laughs> I don't know if he's healing, because we don't see his health bar. No, but VHC it does, never gives health bars to his... Yeah, actually, it's the same It's the same animation as the red. This it's, just if you look, there's a, like a little plus at the bottom, but it's just part of the, like, I'm dizzy. Because I think that's what it is. I'm dizzy. Yes. And green yes. means he hasn't been stabbed, I guess. I think that he turns red when you stab him. Yeah, he doesn't turn green if I don't. And it's... Oh, yeah, he turns green for, like, sometimes. For he, well, he turns green if you second. haven't stabbed him. But if you stab him right away... Oh, no, he turned no, red he turns, and then green yeah. there, yeah. But sometimes he... Ah! Ah! Where did I? Yeah, said he never gives a... Levels. You just have to keep keep fighting them until you're done fighting them. Anybody saying anything? Uh, Ivory Tower Collection says he's pretty sure this enemy is only registering a single hit from your sword. Yeah, yeah. But it's more fun to go. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, it's only one at a time for sure. Some some enemies you can hit them multiple times. Ah. This one. Oh my god, how many times do I need to do this? This is good guy? jump training. I think I think he did heal. I think he healed. <laughs> and you let him go and he, he went like up into I'm like doing it wrong. bonus positive points. Am I doing it wrong? Maybe I have to wait till he turns green and then stab him. Let's try that. Yeah, maybe it's that. That's when he's vulnerable. Because I've been stabbing him a lot. This is jump training. You don't need jump training, but... Oh! oh why did I do that? Self-murder! Oh, this is not a good scene. <gasps> oh, I killed him. Oh, oh you... no! Oh, no! What? What happened there? What? Oh, and I'm dead! <laughs> Bug! Bug! 
Yeah. Uh, VH said C says there's an issue there. Why is he not dying? Yeah, I was like, oh my god, I stabbed him a long time. Let's try it again. <laughs> but people have played this version. And they haven't said anything well, about it. Well, <laughs> maybe it's you. Maybe it's not it, it's you. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, could be me. Could be me doing it wrong, but VHZC hasn't said anything about him doing it wrong. He should die after seven hits. Oh, okay. And how did I get back into the previous room when it wasn't open? That was really weird. Yep. So there's two issues there. Can somebody else... Or it's the same issue. ITC, if you're near your computer, can you try this out? I've, I swear some people in the forums have said, oh, it's it's hard. The, whatever, the second boss is hard. But um, I can't make it to the second boss. <laughs> <laughs> if player equals James, then health equals it's integer max. maximum. Integer maximum. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So I just had to stab him 254 times or something. Some people have passed that boss in this build. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. Well, we'll give it another try. Maybe there was some um, variable that was not like, Maybe if you die one time, but not two times. Maybe his health was assumed to be something, and uh, it was I think wasn't you let him be green too long. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh my god, I almost killed myself. Yeah, look. Yeah, James doesn't like to oh. kill bats if he doesn't need to. That's why he doesn't <laughs> kill them. Oh, sometimes I... Oh, now it's synchronized. Oh, did you die uh, on this screen? Because now it's synchronized after I died. That's possible. I don't... I didn't think I died to those cannons. Hmm. But I did, and they'd synchronize, and that's the only time I... Your game and that That, that makes the most sense. Yeah. All I can say is I don't recall dying to the cannons. I, I yeah. died to inanimate objects, yes. <laughs> cannons, no. Never cannons. Oh, you can stab the bats. I always forget. But they're going the opposite direction, so they don't need stabbing. Sometimes they need stabbing. So, sometimes. Not this time. How about these bats? Oh, of course, they're bats. You can kill them. Too right? dangerous. Is it There we go. It? You get points. Okay, Mr. Boss. This boss looks awesome. It it is. It's tornado. And being uh, dizzy afterwards is also very uh, very cool. Three. Four. Five. Six. Let it go green before attack it, says VHZC. Okay. You well, didn't, I did so. it this time, yeah, and it, and it did work, so. Boing. Am I strong enough for this one? No. Need the health potion. Da, da, da. Power glove. Power glove. Bunk, 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 bunk. Oh. It's his turn. The wind seal has been broken. Or the wind seal. <laughs> is it is it windy? Or is it winding? Okay. Just for everyone out there, I've killed the bats on that level. I can't believe I peer pressured you into murdering bats. Yep. They're all going to die now. At at the suggestion of Darcy. <laughs> murderous. Feel the power! Murderous rampage against the bats of this world. <laughs> <laughs> but there is an issue there with the boss. I don't... Is, it might be a health, too much health. It's not being dealt with properly, or... Oh, 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 the wind seal. Okay, yeah, it is broken. So that's one out of four. Okay. Can and you go to that side, yeah. Since there's two bosses in the game, I'm guessing the second one will be... Oh, no, it wasn't the boss that even did that. It was... Murderous. Okay, you got to die, too, at the hand of Darcy's suggestion. Off we go. Uh, there is a bouncy thing, I'm guessing, down there. 
that gets us back. So we go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Four lives left. This, the timing was so like Terrible. insane. This is just health. Yeah. And when I say just health, I I apologize. Oh, it's, lots of health. It's More great. than those three lives. That looks like a secret passage. Yeah. But I can't get there. Is it is it possible that it's just mirroring? the other side and then to make it not mirrored at the bottom uh most likely okay <laughs> no, i'm not gonna jump nope wait for the oh, it's all new, I think. okay oh yeah that's easy run oh this is new too very nice this is the boss no because that looks like one of the uh could be seals. a dead boss in there we go left. Oh, we. Yeah, the other side looks. Oh, no, nothing there. Oh, boy, I have to jump back on this. That's a passageway back that I'll have to go through. Ooh, vines. Oh. Oh, I have to fall. And. Oh, my God, that's tight. Oh, my God. Now, do I do it? You have to now. do it. Yeah. Oh, he's slow. He's so slow at falling. Is he falling or climbing? Climbing. Oh, he's climbing. Oh, my God. I was like, oh, I have to fall down here? Yeah. That's brutal. That's uh, a lot easier. <laughs> 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 oh, little bugs. Okay. And, oh, it's Pong. Of course it's Pong. Oh, he's got to have Pong. Oh, he's a Pong. Oh, God. Okay, he's going down. Okay, that's not bad. Hey, Master KSI. Question for James. With your Atari uh, 26 on work in progress list and Atari age, do you have any overview of how many games are currently still in work in progress status? I would only have that information for this year. Um, to get all of the games that have ever been work in progress, there's a lot. A lot do not get finished. Or don't get declared as finished. Da da da! Oh, 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 I get to float, but I have to... Oh my god! Actively avoid things. Ah! No! We were discussing that earlier. Yep. But uh, in this, you could you have... Could have but yeah, you ha have. would have to have known no, to, to think ahead. What? Oh my what? God. What? <laughs> but you don't die, at least. Yeah. Because Darcy and I were discussing, or I brought it up, I think. Games. Oh, this is so tight. We were. What were we talking <gasps> about ah! specifically? It was. Um... Not that. Yes. More lives. Uh, it was games that. It was you... Duke Nukem. Yeah. And we were talking about how you kind of had to know. It's LGR to Duke, Duke Nukem uh, video today. Yeah. And then uh, I was saying how in X-Wing, there's the one mission where you literally need to... You're not a Jedi, but you literally need to use the Force. Like, that's the only way to explain how you could complete a mission. Because you have to, like, fly in. You have to fly in, fire a missile at your target, and then turn around and head towards an empty region of space <laughs> that you only guess at by... Uh, based on a couple of little points on your map and its space and start flying towards it so that when the next ship comes in, you're already in its face and fire at it and then do the same thing like three or four times to finish the mission. And you you could not conceivably oh guess God. at that. And it was great objections uh, to that. Yeah. This isn't like that. He's no. a bit easier on the other side. That's what I was thinking, yeah. but I was like, uh... Yeah, oh, yeah, way easier. Because I turn around, and the balloon turns around, and that's what gets popped. Yeah. Uh, oh. That's on purpose. You Is have, it? You have to pop. I don't think you can make it over and still have the balloon. Should I try? Mm. Should I try? I don't think you could. I think you, you should try. You don't move fast enough but over. will you die if you jump? You won't. Uh, no. Probably. You won't die you won't probably die. Because yeah. the spikes are on the bottom. <laughs> I mean... I'm sure VHZC has thought of that. But I'm gonna try. It's gonna be very tight though. Ah! If I can even do it. <laughs> now I have to make it back to the top again. Yeah, I'm not a fan of games. 
a fan of games that that you can't play while you're talking that you can't play while you're talking <laughs> that um you literally have to memorize the whole level Uh, I was like, why are you doing the same thing you did last time? Because <laughs> I haven't literally memorized the whole level. <laughs> Get over, over, over there. You go. Okay, okay, okay. And back over. Back over. Okay, is this one? I think so. Oh! oh! I have to be two over. Yeah. But I still have to be, yeah, two over. So Specifically that you have to know the move before you even get on the screen. Yeah, you will And what die. I said was that he loves games that do that. <laughs> no, I, and don't. By, I don't mean he love that he uh, ca oh, um, I can't. consciously no like loves them, but there are games that he loves that do that. For and you portions love the of the game. That's right, yes. portions of the game, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay, there's one. Oh, we made it here. I remember this. Ah! Did I spit this way? Angry dolphins. Very angry. No, they're they're not angry at all. They're ah. just playing a game. They're playing a dolphin game. It has nothing to do with you. Stop making this about you, James. Oh, no. Now they're all out of sync, and it's easier. <laughs> Oh, oh no! No! Did you notice the arrow pointing to the left? Was I supposed to go to the left? Um, well, it crashed. Getting Pitfall 2 with the balloon, vibes with the balloon. Yes, true. Uh, uh, okay. So two, two, two parts of this. I have never played a VHZ game where it's done this kind of stuff. Hmm. That's amazing. Yay, we found some stuff for him to fix. <laughs> Should I play it one more time? Yeah. Because I didn't I didn't make it to the second boss and I really oh really. Really crashed. I really want to make it to the second boss. And and it doesn't take that long. No sword. To kill these guys. Should I come back to this screen to kill these guys? No, because <laughs> if that was your thing, you'd never stop because they they yeah. they, they uh, resurrect. Yeah. Oh, what am I doing? You wouldn't be coming back to that screen to kill them. You would be coming. You can never wait. They they never die. Yep. They just keep on. Coming they just back. turn into uh, mist because they're not actually bats. They're vampires. Jump. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah. They vampires. They are. They turn into the, um, form of, um, mist, right? Now, why would vampires, I guess you can, if you're mist, you can't really affect anything. That's right. With your, when you're a bat, you can, like, carry small objects. Um... When you're missed, you can fit through things that you not w normally wouldn't be able I to get I think it through. might be like as a bat, you move quicker and you are oh, a maybe. bat, not a mist. <laughs> so like when people see a mist, they're like, what the fuck is that? Well, <laughs> they would also say that with a bat too. No, they'd be like, it's a bat! Yeah. And they might be like, oh, it's oh, a true. bat! <laughs> true. Moving mist is a little bit more suspicious. Yeah. I don't know. I, it depends I, how I, fast the I, mist is moving. I, I generally agree with you that, like, you know, but I think I think mist moves slowly. I think you would be better off as a bat if you wanted to get somewhere quick. Quick, yeah. Oh, my God. And, yeah. Also, probably... Oh, my God. Even though, you know, in real life, <laughs> vampires don't have uh, maybe... Um, in blood real points life. that they have to spend to, but you know, there's probably an exertion. It probably takes more to turn into a mist. It would seem so. Also, how do we know? Maybe bats are sexy. Maybe they're like <laughs> they like. Being maybe bats they get better. it on with the other bats. When they're in bat mode. Could be. The fog mist has weaknesses like wind and fans. Yeah, more yeah, so than true. a bat would. Yeah, I think bats would also, <laughs> but they would be less affected by wind and fans. Yeah. yeah. Depends on how much control you have as mist, because obviously. Oh, okay. <laughs> I I appreciate uh, Gamma Dev that you uh, you saw what I said. That was semi <laughs> Did I a joke? I missed <laughs> a joke. In real life, in real life. <laughs> vampires I got have. <laughs> I got that joke. <laughs> I 
I didn't count, but we'll know if it's over. Significantly over. Ah! No! Oop, oop, that, that. Stop. I don't like wind if I'm on, like, a bicycle or a skateboard. Not that I've been on a skateboard for a long, long, super long time. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... Does wind really affect you on a skateboard? Oh my god, I remember hey, being so angry one time. Uh, I was on a skateboard, and I was going down a hill. Yeah. And the wind was so strong that I could not go down the hill. What? I had to, like, push down the hill, and I was, ah! that, <laughs> I was so, I was, I, like, I was, like, barbarian rage mode. I, like, picked up the, I literally was <laughs> fighting, like, fighting, picked up the skateboard, and I was, ah! Like swinging at the wind with the skateboard. That's some strong wind if you're trying to go down a hill. That's some like impudent rage, is what that is. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is that? <sighs> but I was, I don't know, I, I, there's no excuse for it. I was a kid, <laughs> but uh, it's full it's of hate. Ridiculous. I was, just, <laughs> I was outrageously angry with the wind. <laughs> and it's, I've, any t the wind makes me mad all the time. I don't normally. The wind makes me fight it, but I sometimes fight the wind. Like when I was on my my inflatable dinghy, the right way. and the wind was in my face, I was mad. Oh no, that was the ocean. I was angry with the ocean, and I mean, like I say, I'm mad at the. I was mad at the ocean for being so wavy. Why are you so wavy, ocean? I'm just trying to boat fast on you. <laughs> I was so mad every now time. You, now the wind is your friend. Only if it's going in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I count the wind as an object. <laughs> it can be foe or friend. No, I mean, I count it as an object, not a person. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Do not uh, give it personality. I do not rage at the person. I rage at the wind. I rage against the wind. Oh, it goes right up to seven, no matter what you have. Nice. Yes, yes, thrust downhill on a bike. That's the other one. It's like on a bike. It's like, oh my god. It's like, it. it's so much effort to ride your bike when you have to, like up a hill or what have you. It's like. Yeah. Did VHNC and see the And when the, the wind crash, it pretends did... that it is a hill, it just creates a hill out of nowhere. It's like, <laughs> oh, I'm on the flat, but now I have to like pedal like it's the wind. I don't, like see, any, I don't see VHNC talking in the chat. Did he miss, did <laughs> no, he miss the crash? There's a clickbait thumbnail. This bike can't go downhill. <laughs> <laughs> that would be. Sorry, what were you saying? Uh, if VHNC is like, uh, went away from watching because it, uh, the game crashed. And I hope he saw no, that. I didn't see he didn't say make any comments afterwards. No, just, no, do as I wish, not. Do as I do, not as I say. That's right. I... <laughs> do as I say. Oh my god. Am I supposed to go this way? Can I jump that high? Let's see. No, I can't jump that high. I don't, I didn't see it. Oh, uh, what? VHC's reaction? No, I did. I, he didn't make one. Uh, he says arrows. Uh, just stop. I saw Frost those arrows. arrows. I tried to jump up to that. I yeah. couldn't jump up. It's it's later. You can see there's um, a rope across. Okay. So I'm guessing. Oh, can oh. I reset this? Okay. That was another issue. Okay. That was very crazy. Good thing it's being recorded. Yeah. <laughs> it is a very good thing. Oh, okay. Oh, this is... What? Is this further than I went went last time? Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't see this. For screen. sure. So the same screen crashed. So definitely yeah. something going on there. Arrows! <laughs> I know, I see arrows, but I couldn't jump up to the arrows. You're gonna have to kill these birds, I think. I am pretty sure I have to as well. And the stick. Oh, almost done. Now I can go up to it, but there's an air, there's a, <gasps> oh, it's boss time. I didn't go to the arrows first. Uh Oh, maybe I can go back to the arrows. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. That destroys his thing. Oh, so this is the water boss. Yeah. I was like, I don't remember a turtle. So I have to stab that guy. And every once in a while he blows something after every exclamation mark. Cut this side. 
ever after ex exclamation mark. Okay. Oh no, the water goes there too? <gasps> Beach said, he says, I have no idea what is happening in that screen. I am sure it is not happening on the emulator. Okay. Something to do with real hardware. Yeah. Okay, I like the consistency of green equals you can stab. Yes. And red equals red. you have stabbed. <laughs> no, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> that is a good, uh, a good rule of thumb. Stab. Stab, stab the green thing. Stop stabbing it when it turns red. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is angry at you. Yeah, no, it's bloody. Whatever. Yeah. Angry, it's bloody, all the things. Now I'm going to go back. Why? Because I... Uh, should I go forward or back? Because I can go through those arrows. But it's a one-way ticket back. So I'm going to go this way first. This is probably the reward. Okay, I'm confused. Why would you not have gone through here? Um, because there is another passage way back if you climb up. But to why this wouldn't rope. you come here first? Um, that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. I do want to come here first because I know this is kind of. Oh the my rope. God! There's a duck. Uh, there's not that been any duck. nice creatures in this game, so I'm very wary of that duck. Hi! The water seal has been broken. Well, the duck is not doing anything. He's just looking at me. I suspect that duck will come back. To bite me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's on. using Dragonfly cart. Yes, Dragonfly yeah. cart. My GD 7800 GD is coming very shortly, so I'll be able to test games with that soon. Hi. Oh oh oh, oh, my, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Cat almost a cat death there. Yeah. Not a me. cat oh, dying, but way. a cat caught because a death caused by a cat. Almost. Very close. Now we go back. We, go. we have to deal with these dolphins again. And they're shooting in the opposite direction now. And I'm way higher. No, so they're shooting the opposite direction, which they didn't do before. True. Oh. There okay. you go. I'm not going up that ladder yet. No, no. And then this. Ooh, I don't want to go back that way. What? Because that's a one-way ticket. Oh. I can't get back to this ladder if I We'll do. go. Okay. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you need to find an arrow to slay, slay that, that duck. duck. <laughs> yeah, take this. You will need it. Uh, really good. Uh, I like the second boss. Um, uh, somehow less challenging than the first boss. Well, I did. Yeah. I no, I don't think it was. No. 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 I it about to be about equal. They're both no more challenging. The second no, definitely one? more challenging. Yeah. Yeah, like and maybe it fit in your wheelhouse or something. It did. But the only thing you had to do with the other one was. Uh, jump, jump over, over it and then stab it. And, and this, this one, you, one, still you had, had something. Jump. You had something to jump, but over here there was a deadly thing if you went mm. too far back, and it was spitting fire if you jumped in to stab it. It was like not. It was. It was def objectively harder. True. Yeah, that is yeah. very true. Yeah. Less challenging than the immortal one. The immortal one was very hard. <laughs> yes, definitely oh, less challenging. I missed the raid. Hey, thank you for coming in. Deactivated styles. Thank you for <laughs> uh, bringing your peoples over. Uh, what were you just playing on your channel? Atari! Yeah! We just won an Atari 7800. Deactivated 7800 game, but we're going to go on to game number two. A ton of NES. Awesome. We just had a celebration of the 30th anniversary. 40th anniversary. <laughs> 40th anniversary of the release of the Famicom slash NES, because Famicom came out in 1983 mm -hmm. um, with a private uh, video game crazy. night. Yeah. It's Which is crazy, crazy that it's 40 years 80. old. You know. It's just that it came out in 83. Like, uh, Yeah, it came out quite a bit earlier than in North America. Yeah. So, And um, like it didn't change when it came to North America. It's just that like the no. technology of Nintendo... Nintendo? Nintendo. Uh, Nintendo. NES. Well, NES Famicom. Yeah. yeah. The the technology that was NES was out Oops. in 83 is just interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's It was quite decent for 83. Like, you compare it to the stuff that was out against it. We're going to play Lyra the Tenrec right now. And uh, this is made by Zippy Oasis, um, a.k.a. Zippy Red Plumber. I'm going to press this button. So he lost his... Uh, there's different game modes, but we can stick to this game mode. Arcade mode. 
So you have to collect those uh, circle. But not the red one? Don't touch the floating things. Oh, but shoot them with your head when you bounce. Uh, nope, don't do that. Don't Avoid do them this? completely. Okay, nope, I'm losing, losing life, life whenever I do that. You gotta get those those round things that are floating. There you go. That's that's the whole game. Nobody in for treat time. No, nope, not yet. Nobody is uh, triggered a treat time. We can do that. That would be fun. Cats cats are are hanging around. Atari's in the uh, hallway, but he's nearby. He's in within within earshot. Just this worst. game has very, very good music. Oh, yum, yum, yum! It is treat time! Okay, time to switch over to the cats. I don't know how to do this. I'll show you how. Okay. I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have to it all the way. Trapped. Okay, let's start the betting. Um, you were here for when we made oh, the, a new, betting. Sorry. the new treat time game, right? Uh, we switched the way it worked. Okay, how's it work? Was that with Erlen? Um, if you. it's very new, then no. Uh, it's very new. Okay, then no. Okay. I don't think. We did over under now. Over under. So it's how much one cat Oh, so the beat. betting... Oh, okay. So the game is the same, but the betting portion of the game is different. Yes, yes. I like that. Um, because that's, that's that is because better. Sprite wins almost all the time. Yeah. So now it's how much does he win by? Or or Atari still? Oh, yeah. Yep. So the options now. You're still a champion. So you're you still can, a champion. Don't let them. Don't you, let them crush your soul or spirit or uh, whatever it is. That they so if you haven't done this before, you click predict, then you pick which cat. This is Sprite. And Atari's the gray one. And then you pick by how much one will win over the other. They're ringing bells for treats. Um, will Sprite win by one or two points over Atari? Or three or more points? Or will Atari win by one or two points over Sprite? Or three or more points? Um, so, and I still haven't corrected <coughs> these spelling errors. <laughs> but I'll have to remember to do that next time. Um, so we've got bells Spurs here. Spurs versus Atari, I see. Sp Spur Spurt versus Atari, bell ring. Spurte. Spurte. 250 <laughs> on Sprite by 2 to 1. Uh, that's a very safe bet, but if Sprite's on his game, he can trounce Atari quite easily. Uh, 2 to 1? I've never seen him win by. Or 2 more or than 1, than two I'm, one. I'm sure they meant. Two, oh, okay. 2 or 1. Oh, okay. Because th these are the options. Okay. That says, that says, it says say one to two. Uh, yeah, one so to I two. So I understand. That, I now understand in context of this. Yeah. So we've got uh, bets on everything except Atari 3 Plus, which is a very bad bet. Because <laughs> that would be very, very rare. Uh, we've got, uh, it doesn't say how many people. But 8% of, 8 of the bets are going to Sprite 3 Plus. 18% of the bets are going to Sprite 1 to 2. <laughs> 75% people are going big on Atari 1 to 2. But that, okay, yeah. Let's move this out of the way. And the betting is done. Okay, let's get this game underway. Okay, cats, are you ready? Oh, Sprite's being real lazy. I wonder if that'll factor in. Sorry, is it done? It, the betting is. The betting's done, and mostly people are betting on Atari to win? Uh, most money, or channel points, are on Atari. I don't know about people. It didn't say. We'll find out that at the end. Oh, sorry. I used the wrong word. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Ah. ah! Okay. Okay, that James, just a sec. Open your mouth here. You don't have... You've got at least three snacks there. Ah! <laughs> those stink. Okay. <laughs> Cats like them. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go. Ah. Okay. That is one for Sprite. Oh, I thought it was both of them. I gave oh. them both ones. Okay, well, I'll go on yours. And that's Sprite 2. 2 to 1 for Sprite now. Uh, Atari 2. Another one for Sprite. Oh my god, they are... They are going. Oh, no. Oh, another one for Sprite. Wow, this is a fast-paced game. Nope. Oh, another one for Sprite. Gotta hit the bell. Hit it. There you go. Another one for Atari. 5-3. 6-3. Oh my god, Sprite is going to destroy Atari today. Oh no. No. Hit it. Harder. Harder. 
Harder. Harder. Come on. There we go. 6-4. And Sprite was nice nice to wait for Atari to ring his bell to give another one. He doesn't want to that's, embarrass him too that's much. That's the way it, it works. Is It's like... 8-5. Oh like my god. The, it's like with the toys. Oh, what's going on there? 8-6. Oh, now we're within two, two range. It's out of the three. Now we're to game point. 9-6. to six. He can still win by three. Oh, it's over. One by four. Wow. Destruction. Ten to six. Final score. That's the best thing about uh, um, betting on cats is that you can <laughs> you can say things like destroyed and nobody's feelings get hurt because yeah, they, they, don't, got, they, they got don't treats. understand English or They're human happy. language, really. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, thrust went for three plus. Wow, let's let's see the results. Let's choose the outcome. It was Sprite 3 plus. Boom! So who won that one? Thrust! Is the Thrust won everything! Oh my god! Wow! Good job! 13,000 channel points go to Thrust. <laughs> Thrust raked it all in. Sprite wins by four whiskers. What if it's an outcome that nobody bet on? That not that has not happened yet. See, so I'm not sure. It all goes back. It either all goes back or it all disappears. I don't know what the outcome is of it. It all goes to us. Well, we don't. We have <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Like just right kidding, down yeah. there, infinite channel points. Yeah, yeah. So um, it doesn't really matter. So I think the I, thing about voting on a voting a huge lump on Atari is that it would make sense. Yeah. If there were enough people voting that they all voted for Sprite. Yes. But like if you put a huge bet on Atari and people don't balance it with a bet yes. on Sprite, then you only if if by chance you win, you only get a little bit because you had most of the votes. Isn't yeah. that how it works? Yeah. A smart bet on Atari would be a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit on Atari, but, but like a but a smart bet can be a huge bet if you're just like I'm going for gold. But the the problem well, is if that the, if the pool is else. too small, yep. if the pool is because we're not basing it off on who's most likely to win, we're basing yep. it off who people pick to win. 100%. So like for instance, yeah, Thrust got every he got the huge income because he made. But he bet on the one bet. most likely to win. Like he yep. said, like you, like Thrust said, I would have won the same with just yep. ten points. Yeah. Because he won all of it. Now, if there's two people betting three plus on Sprite, like one one more person than Thrust, if Thrust bet 10 and the other person bet 1,000, Thrust would get next to nothing, like almost zero. So if there's a slot left with nobody betting on it... Oh, you should definitely bet on that. <laughs> you just throw 10 in on that or yeah. whatever. It doesn't matter at yeah, that point. Yeah. But you have to le leave it till very, very last, and that's risky too. Yeah. Um, we're 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 probably talking about game theory because we've been watching uh, Squid Game, the reality show Squid Game that just got released, and we had a big discussion about um, game theory last night <laughs> on on the uh, on one of the episodes. And you haven't seen it, so we can't really. If you haven't seen it, we can't really talk about it because it's really new. Yeah. Um, I've, I found it very enjoyable. Yeah, yeah, same here. Yeah, um, yeah we really liked it. Um, I like... Um, what was the other one? Uh, that's the 100... Uh, yeah, yeah. Strength 100 competition. Yeah. What? Oh, I, I knew it last night. Damn it. Do you remember the name of it? No, it's... <laughs> Physical 100. Physical 100, that's what it is. Physical 100. Yeah. Which is really good. Because yeah. these people are literally competing in strength events. Yeah. And it's brutally crazy. Like physical events. Physical events. Some are strength and some are like agility and yeah. some are like but they're all based But they're on, all physical. They're like, all body events. Yeah. You would definitely want strength, con, or dex <laughs> is what I'm saying. A nice mix of a all nice of them mix, is best. A nice mix is great, but... I would go a little I, bit more in strength. Yeah. This, just, yeah. You, or, need, you can't have no... You can't have no dex. You gotta I'd, have a decent dex if you want to win. I mean, yeah. But you definitely strength is like the advantage most of the time. Would you need any charisma in? I don't think they did. It anything. won't help you win, but it might help you survive. 
<laughs> and with Squid Game, the reality show, it's mostly luck. <laughs> That's what you wanted. Luck and charisma. Those well, are the it's two like, things you want to max out. The, but the charisma, it's like you, you don't want to have... What you want in Squid Game is to not have huge stats. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You want to hide your stats. So if you have huge charisma, there were people that got voted out because they had huge charisma. <laughs> yes, that's dangerous. I mean, you arguably, have... like, what what is charisma? Yeah. Because uh, charisma is... Yeah, I think, it, I think you could objectively say it was charisma, but some people hate charisma. Yeah. So you can get enemies by being charismatic, because some people will hate you for having charisma or, or whatever. Up, up like. to a point. But, it's, it, but also, charisma can be several different things. And so yeah. a certain type of charisma someone could have but i just i'm just like yeah screw you I don't, <laughs> I don't like it up to a point being invisible is great yeah especially in, in until like the last four competitions yeah. you want to be just nobody nobody thinks about you but there's a lot of randomness and a lot of people and yeah. different people have different opinions so some people some people got voted out because they didn't have friends yeah. And some people got voted out because, literally, because they had friends. They had all the friends. They had friends, and they were like, nope, <laughs> you gotta go. And or, or they stuck up like a nail, and somebody hammered them down. Yeah. And so far, we've been so general that, like, it's <laughs> yeah. not spoiling anything. This is the know. same for any reality no, show. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, you want to collect those round things, Darcy. Yeah, just so I'm reading okay. the thing if we're missing. I insist you... I think you guys will feel the urge to feed cats every time you hear a bell. I, th I think so. The cats definitely think so. Because sometimes we watch the show, I watch it back for quality and synchronization issues and volume levels and stuff like that. And when the bells go on the screen, the cats go, where's the bells? So, Thrust, you say you, ca you cannot see the number of people, so I added a thousand last seconds. So, can you see the amount of bets before when you bet? Can you? Can they I, see? I can see everything. I don't know what they see, so you should check it out. So yeah, maybe next they time we'll do it that way. Maybe no, they it's too late now. It's gone can't now. game the system then. Which is better, because in a betting environment, you normally can't see yeah. what other people have done. But, no, but you do see the odds. And they update the odds. They definitely show. And like, it, like if you get an early, you can put an early bet in, and you get the the point of getting in early is that you get the current odds. And if you think, I think I'm just it's coming, kind of bringing this off the top of my head, so I could be wrong. <laughs> but I think it's that if you put an early bet in when the odds haven't been skewed yet, you could get a better odds than you think it should be. So like if if. If mm. if it hasn't been adjusted, if the odds haven't been adjusted yet, you can bet on this person, and then later it's like, oh, everybody's betting on this person, so the odds change. I don't know if... if because I, I think you get locked in at the odds that you put your money in at. You have to, because otherwise that'd be ridiculous. Oh, yeah. For yeah. you to 100%. commit money to... When to a you, changing odds. To a yeah. changing odds. You're talk not talking about the game we play here. No. In general, yeah. No, I'm talking about in general. Oh, it's locked in. So I think in 100%. general, like, the advantage of an early to... bet is you get the current odds, and then a late bet, the advantage is that you know the odds. Do they change up to the point you put your bet in? Because the bet... The odds are determined. Like, when you took, like, a bookie, oh. they're determined by people's bets. They start off... Are they start they? off with a guess. They start off oh, with, oh, okay. I'm giving this odds. I was wondering and how then they, they start. And then they, they, they go, and then based on people's bets, they adjust it. That's how, like, because yeah, that's cause how they don't they want to lose money. Because they, they make money on, like, the VIG. I, I can't remember what that, but it's like they make money on the difference between the two sides. And so they, it, the reason it's a good system is that they're incentivized to make it the most I think I, I don't remember the actual details. What I remember is that like there, if if you want to be good at the bookie thing, you need to adjust the, you need to adjust the odds so that it comes favorite. out even, that the number of people oh. winning and the number of people, uh, yeah, something like the yeah you you I think that's what it is. You want the same amount of bets on both sides. I'm pretty sure that's it, because then, because if if you have it. So that there's a huge amount of bets on one side, and then that side wins, where's the money come from? Oh, yeah. And so the, you've got to balance it so that there's the same amount of money on both sides, and so that's how you adjust. So you can just, you just change the odds based on, oh, I have 10,000 here, and I've only got 8,000 here, so I need 2,000 more here, so you increase the odds so that someone will, 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 will get in on it. 
So you're yeah. looking for the most accurate and correct set of odds. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. you can. Oh, because, 100%. Because, because that's how you make your money. Because they get a little bit, they, they get a little bit from what's between the two, essentially. Yeah. And I'm rambling. <laughs> <laughs> it's my way. I, I ramble or I say nothing. Like he rambles till he gets a point across. <laughs> <laughs> the Arable Cock says, Heck, one of our cats figured out the bell is something good and she isn't getting treats for it. <laughs> now that's some training. Uh, Gamma Dev says, We can see the number of people and the amounts and and amounts. Okay. Well, They're then you see everything. There. Okay. You see everything then. Yeah, Thrust says, Too small, too little contrast. Oh, okay. So bad colors. So if you. You got two different sites. You can stress us if you got to different sites. You could sometimes even guarantee profit due to the different odds. Oh, different bookies, I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm not a very uh, powerful uh, understanding. <laughs> no, I I don't know much about betting. Just the gist. I only know cat betting. <laughs> not human betting. No, not human betting or horse betting. Bettings. So the red one follows you. Yep. And the blue one sort of follows it's, you. Uh, or is it just random? It's random. Okay. I, yeah. I believe so far I haven't found any pattern. Oh, oh my god. Brother Trucker. It's People funny look, that the ghosts look like uh, wrestler masks. That's what I was just going to say. <laughs> Malaclavas. But Mexican wrestling masks would work too. Oh, almost got a perfect, perfect run on that one. Uh, I like the graphics, but I like more color contrast too. Yeah, there's a lot of pink, <laughs> a lot of pink. The uh, the character, the characters is good. really good. Like it looks like uh, an anime cat. Yeah, which oh, I'm hundred percent pretty sure is. Sure that's the goal. Yeah, I'm sure that's what they're going for. No, it's not an anime cat. It's an anime fox or oh. something. Like it looks a lot like uh, what you call that game you hate. <laughs> yes, that you didn't like because of needing to know the map. Yeah, it's um, it's a, it's a tenrec. That's the care. That's the creature. Oh, like a tenrec fox? Is that I not? I I I remember I researched it last time, but I've now forgotten yeah, what a tenrec think... is. But I think it's a small fox like creature. Yeah, like a little desert fox. Like yeah, it's like those cute ones with the big ears. Yeah. The, the and and that's uh the 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 cute ones with the ears. And this is already understanding. <laughs> They're all that, cute with ears. <laughs> that foxes have huge ears. <laughs> and yes. these are the these are the foxes with huge ears. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which is to say, more huge than normal. Uh oh. I got hit my first time. This game's too easy at this, and this setting at least. Um. Yeah. I got hit but for the first time it... in five minutes. Yeah. That's too at easy. this level. Yeah. I don't know if they're going faster. I think, yeah, he's definitely going a little bit faster. Now. Yeah, the difference in a game that's too easy and a game ah. like ah. early on. A difference between, the difference between a game that is too easy and not too easy can just be knocking off the first couple levels. Yeah, it's it's a fine line. Uh, it that's that's the thing in in game development is is finding what's what's too hard and what's too easy, mm -hmm. and that only comes out of through testing game yeah. testing that's that's all you can figure out because you're gonna get some testers that are really good at platforming and some that are like uh oh, i'm not great at it um or people that have are able to figure out like how to play the game really well really quick oh come on yeah the red one for sure is following and the blue one Sometimes At first, I thought it was sort of following you, as in, like, it would change its position on the screen when it came onto the screen. But I, but I don't think that's... It's not. It's just random. Yeah. Or it, or it's following a pattern or something. Coincidental. Uh-oh. I have so many lives. So many lives left. Carl G says it's more 
common to make things too hard because you get good at your game at your own game as a dev. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And it's probably what do you think is better to make a game too hard or too easy? Like uh, generally. Uh so I think too as a as a rule, I would say that yeah, like just unless general. it's unless it's difficult to adjust, it doesn't matter which one. Yeah. I like think if it's, it's too hard, then you make it easier, and if it's too easy, you make it too hard. But if it's like, if you're talking as like a function, like a core function yes. of the game, yes, uh, then yeah, too hard is probably better. That's what I'm thinking too, because too hard is like, oh, it's a challenge at least still, yeah. right? And people go, oh, I get to play it more. It it gives more play time because it's harder to, oh my God. harder like to the, finish. It's the two part. It's like too hard. You can easily imagine that too hard means a game that um, you can almost make an excuse for too hard. It's like, oh, it's I meant to be. It's meant to be a hard game. Well, no, that's because <laughs> okay, I play sure. games that are like, oh my god, come on. This but is like some people like a too hard, hard game, and everybody will stop playing a game that's too easy. That's that's what I'm saying. That's that's the slight advantage that. Um, hard games have over easy games. I guess not everybody will. I, I, I don't mind a game that's... Uh, it depends on what you're after. The two is, like, too much part is the, the, the key part there. Like, some, what is too much? Some games that are easy can be relaxing. Can be like, oh, this is enjoyable, even yeah. though it's easy. It's yeah. like, oh, it's got good music. It's got or it has visuals. a story or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You're like some games, story. Like, some games... Uh... I don't want it to be hard, or especially not the first time I play it, because, like, yeah, I just want to, like, get through it. Some easy games get you in a nice zen state. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. Yeah. Um, counterpoint, but, Dark Souls, I would say, love to be abused by I it. would say, like, like, you are correct, but there's a difference between an easy game and a, a game that is too easy. That's what I mean. Yeah. Like the, fo like the, yeah. the 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 question is the two. That's easy the important on purpose bit. Like versus... too easy as in, yeah. Okay. And yeah. Okay. You. And you I just, I can imagine a scenario in which a game that is too hard is uh, still liked by some people who like hard games, whereas a game that is too easy is more likely to be. So this game, this build is from November 10th, 48k game. Um, this game is also on the 2600, which we did play in the show. Uh, we also made uh, Sonic VCS for the 2600. He likes spinny things that jump. Um, so on April 20th, when it was... Uh, okay, we... Sorry, what's going on? Are you doing this game? Yeah, talking okay. about this game. Uh, on April 20th this year, he said it was about 70% complete. The game has an ending, unlike the 2600 counterpart. We're not playing the... Um, we're going to switch over to the other mode where it does have an ending. I don't think this is the mode. Um, once you... Uh, the game has an ending, unlike the 2600 counterpart. Once you beat the game, it takes you straight to the title, now sporting you a win message. Same thing when you lose the game. The title sports Oh, the game did you know you message. can sprint? No. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know if that's super helpful, but because if you're on a platform. It helps me. You can sprint while you're jumping too. Really? Yeah. Is that the other button? Or. Yeah. Hmm. Um, it, I, I, I think. Let's see. Yeah. You hold down the button? Or you double press? I jump and then I press the other button. Oh, okay. So that's normal and then move. Can you hold down the other button the whole time and just quickly run around? Yeah, seems oh, like. Oh, that'll be much easier to jump over the red one. Um, November 10th, the one we're I'm playing. Using up all the hearts. <laughs> but they're Hi. full, anyways. Hi, Zippy Red Plumber here. After what feels like a year of working consistently on the game, I'm glad to announce it's 90% done. What's new with this build? Two game modes arcade and 7800. Arcade mode uh, plays as you expected, five stages of score hunting fun looped endlessly which is the one we're playing. 7800 mode is different. You get to play 30 stages and has an ending. A third enemy has been added for harder difficulty and adjustments made for two enemy speeds. Okay, die. We're going to switch over. No. 
<laughs> You're kicking ass with the speed now. Uh, TAA Tracker and RMT added simultaneously uh -oh. for the title All screen. Right. Get those red guys. There you go. Your goal now is to attack the Mexican wrestlers. That was my goal when I first started, so we've come full circle. Yep, there are game options. We're going to go to the second option, where there is, like, levels and a third enemy. Okay. And he is working on making this couch compliant, but right now it is not. So we have to use these switches. Uh, so we're going to switch over to 7800 mode. I uh, don't have an explanation of what mode A and B are, so we're going to start with A. And then... it, yes, it is not. <laughs> the game is not couch compliant. Excellent. Who triggered that? RC7E, nice. Okay, start playing. Yeah, the fact that it lands at different heights of the blocks annoys me, yeah. and it could be corrected by there being a line... If it was, if it's intentional, having a line on the block mm -hmm. that is like a ledge, you can imagine as a ledge that. Oh, and there's like a background. Because it feels it. like you have to ha land on the the lower part of the block, but at least. Right. I don't know how possible it is maybe because you were in twenty six hundred mode, like maybe. <laughs> if it isn't couch compliant, then why did you wait for Darcy to kill off his remaining hearts versus just resetting it? Well, we'll show a game over screen. I don't know. Because <laughs> I was doing things. <laughs> So this is the one where you have... Oh, it counts down the number of things you need to get. Most radical. See the speed so, thing. So is, this uh... has 30 stages. It doesn't say what stage you're on. And it looks uh -oh. like the same type of uh, levels. Yeah, Nip is back on the menu. <laughs> I just added it back today um, because Atari's doing very well. He hasn't had an asthma attack in weeks now. So, so I we want to we want to encourage one. We want to fabricate well, one because yes. I actually almost well I don't want to, but if it does happen, we'll know that it's related to yeah. catnip or dust or him inhaling certain things, like thing particulates in the air, because he den tends to roll around in it. The cats are like AWOL now, because they got fed treats. <laughs> Just like I, how I started smoking again, because my cough finally went away. <laughs> Perfect analogy. We don't forget the running. I'll be running the Just whole time. Just hold the run button. Because that makes the 30 levels go faster. Oh, no! Especially when you die because you were running. How many lives <laughs> did you leave me with? Oh, lots. Okay, good. So I don't know what level we're on because it's not seeming to announce that on the screen. I see a three. I don't know what it means. Uh, uh, well, that's how many you need to get. Yeah, which is not really necessary because you can visually see them. Yeah, you could replace that with uh, how the many, level. which level you're on, I guess. Yeah. See, like jumping over him becomes possible because of the... Oh, uh, I hit him. Yeah, before, I only jumped over once. Hello, 7 of 7. Oh, this is a different level. I don't think I've seen this one before. This is like Mario Brothers level. 7 of 7. For us, says a third enemy would really help. Uh, it says <clears throat> a third enemy is coming ah. at some point in, in this version. So we'll see what level they come in on. I'm trying to think, what is it I thought the blue one was doing? I think if you had one that did that, where, it, where it came in where you were. Not the side of the screen you're on, but like the side of the screen you're working. Okay. Not but now that you can sprint, it, it doesn't, like before when you could only move slow because we didn't know about sprinting, <laughs> it would have been more relevant because you kind of, you kind of stay in an area longer because it takes you longer to get there and now it's like this is much more fast just make it this Wait. speed <laughs> I, I, or almost, I make a slow yes. down button yes <laughs> because because i have to hold the button the whole time i would definitely say make it this speed it's much more enjoyable and frantic and if you need to go slow at times put a slow button 
Put a slow down button as opposed to a speed up button. <laughs> yes. Like how, like it like on your 486, you need a tur <laughs> turbo. You need button. a slow down button. It's that's true, because games that were made before that <laughs> running too fast. I didn't understand what the turbo button was for the longest time. It was like, why would you want it slow? That's what I always thought. But I think I never played any older games. I think we weren't sure at the beginning if it did anything, and I think some computers it didn't. Yeah, because it wasn't hooked up properly, or yeah. it just wasn't that thing, but it was on the case. Yeah. Like, it wasn't hooked up to anything on the motherboard. Yeah, yeah. 486. My 286 had a turbo button. Yeah, I just uh, 486 was the first number that came to mind. Yeah. You did. You, what was your first PC? Was it a 486? It was an IBM clone. Oh, right. You had an early one. I, yeah. Because my dad had it for his business. My first one was a 386. And it was C64 uh, straight to 386. <laughs> I missed a lot of generations of PC. Ah. I haven't seen a third one. Maybe that's on the other option. Like, the like what we had at school in computer science is like that, that era. Was, oh, that was... It was like IBM clothes. In, in grade 8? Oh, no, no, no. Not grade yeah. Eight. No, not in grade 8. No. Uh, That's what I mean. Like, it was like... It was at that time... Uh, that you got it was it. very... It was... I don't know if it was newer or older or what have you, but it was very much... Um, See, your speed has made you less patient. I know. <laughs> it took but longer. I still do the levels yeah, faster. Yeah. I think it's other the other game mode where there's three, because we're pretty far into it now. Good music. Yeah, but the graphics do need But like grade eight was variety. 86. Right. And so it was like uh, like of course there there were differences between them but it wasn't 286 versus 386 yet i don't think i think that I, would think 286 was like not sure fancy yeah it might have been i'm not sure in the timeline of pcs because i it, it's all a blur i just progressively upgraded i remember in grade seven i was in ontario and we had elective classes for a certain time of year and one of them was computers and what you did was you went into the computer place and you played <laughs> Commodore 64 video games and <laughs> copied Commodore, six, uh, Commodore 64 games. <laughs> that was your whole elective. I didn't do it because I uh, well, for didn't. whatever reason I... Did you have one? No you didn't have one. No I didn't have one. So there's no reason to copy them but you must have played them the games. No I took uh, filmmaking <laughs> Oh, you didn't even take the class. Okay. No, because it was a, a, electives. Like, it was like... You uh, took filmmaking? Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah. Oh. And it was like we learned how to use the BCR and the, the camera and and the... Oh. And it was like grade seven, so we were mostly... <gasps> There's pits. Oh, my God. Things are, things are heating up. Pits of death or pits of wraparound. But I'm not going to fall in them. I do have lots of hearts, but that might be permadeath. I don't know. Definitely should have more um, uh, sayings on the screen because it has most radical and have a, like a, a bank of very 90s uh, congratulatory messages. Sorry, I, I just saw the message from Ivory Tower Collections. When I say that the class was you go in and play video games and copy video games, <laughs> I need to be clear. That was the class. What? It was not the goofing around that happened around the class. Oh. It was like they were playing like video games on the Commodore 64, and it seemed to have been like the the class. I didn't. I wasn't in it. But yeah, it was That's like the piracy class. Yeah. <laughs> How do pirate video games? It was just so weird. Games. It was just so weird. But that's the difference. That's the difference in times. It's like it's like how your parents tell you don't steal things, but also they're like, oh, look for deals. Pretend you're 12 when we go to the movies <laughs> or something. You know, like a, <laughs> I'm way past cool. Don't tell them you're 13 or whatever. Yeah. Was this class taught by a coach who had to teach something other than gym? I t yeah, I don't yes, know. Yes, most likely. Because it was, it was like, when I say it was electives, it was like, it was like, they were training you for grade eight or nine oh when you would go to, when you, when, when you went to school and you would pick some classes. It was weird. It crashes. Uh-oh. When you win. 
Oh, it literally, literally crashes. Oh, yeah. Are you hearing a noise? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm hearing that too, but I wasn't sure if I oh, was Oh, that's crazy. funny. Okay. Well, not funny, but... He's not done the game, obviously. In grade eight, when we took computer so science, they taught us... They taught us... Uh, oh, it was... Oh, there are three. It was, okay, B oh, is immediate, immediately three. Um, it was like... Uh, I think we started... Was Pascal like grade nine? Oh, because I remember we learned framework, yes. which was like, it was Pascal, it was yeah. actually probably kind of like framework. It was not oh, useful. That's a distant it was memory. like I can't it was like about it framework. was a program oh my God, that was so basically it was showing you a was it a GUI? Is that what it's called when you can see stuff on GUI? the screen? Yeah, GUI. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was it was kind of a Windows like situation. Oh, I remember framework. Yes. Yeah. And it was, yes. but it was like, um, and you still it wasn't an, it wasn't like the OS, and it wasn't really like the OS. It was like, it was just drop down menus and stuff. But it was like the OS. It was like, it was, it this was is. sort of like the OS if the OS had like word processing included <laughs> in it, because that was the thing. It was like, yeah. Her her GUI is amazing. <laughs> That's but, filth. Uh, th that's not what it was called, of course, at the time. But yeah, I remember. I remember learning Pascal, and and the same when I learned Basic on, on the Trash Eighty. I was like, why won't they? I, of course, they aren't showing us like how to really program. <laughs> it wasn't until later that it I was is. like, oh, that is. Yeah, it's and just it, a different language. If I just known, if I just known that they really were showing us how to program. <laughs> <laughs> you would have. I would have been so much more interested, but I thought, oh, they're showing us baby stuff. They're not even going to show us how to program, and it's much harder. I'm running into things everywhere yeah. just because it's full. I mean, I learned logo to begin with. That was my, I mean, basic first, but then in school I learned logo, and that I definitely did not think was a real language, even though it is. You can you can do whatever with logo little turtle that draws things on the screen yeah, yeah yeah oh my god it's good as generous with hearts because this is destroying me yeah you come oh, how do you get hearts each level it replenishes it oh okay well that's so as long as you survive the level it looks like you're fine that's, that's oh but bit. you know what i haven't oh so the extra green one what rule does it follow uh, same as the blue. Okay. I'm pretty sure. It still takes up a lot of space. Oh, yeah. Uh, the red one it's... chasing you around fills in that gap. Yes. Of where the other two are not. Yeah. <laughs> with, with turtle graphics. Yeah. Because mo logo's great for kids because you can see the results, like graphical results immediately. Not that you couldn't do that with like text. Is like put an A on the screen. Yeah. Okay, move the A down. And, and that was really cool, though. You don't yeah. remember it, but it was really cool when you discovered that you could press it uh, on the keyboard, ah. and it would do what you, even though it was, yeah. And just for a second. And learning, like <laughs> you, you can learn loops really well. Like there is an issue with this game. Oh, you're off the screen. I'm oh, you're falling, falling infinitely. Uh, but the issue is that you can't see where you are. Well, that too. No, but I mean, you solve it by moving onto the screen. But yeah, I guess there's not supposed to be a fault. No, I mean, the game has built-in falling because there are open areas, but there is tiny gaps on the side that you can fall through. Most radical. For my diploma thesis, I did a Windows implementation of a children's programming language. Care. Carol? Colonel? Car Carol? Carol. Oh, that's the name of the program on the job. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm dying. I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I think, like, in our class, the the thing that could have made the difference... I don't know if they could have done anything to make a difference. Like, but just letting you know? What they... Like... Oh, the, the problem is all mine. I'm not saying <laughs> I'm not saying they were that they did something wrong. It was your disbelief that it's this my could disbelief possibly that do anything. They were anything. actually showing you how to really program was... But it did everything a program programming language could do like you're talking about pascal turbo pascal. i did but but like um 
and I'm just talking about I'm an idiot, and what would have <laughs> what would have cured me of my idiocy, and what would have cured me of my idi- idiocy is like seeing that oh yeah, this is how like if you were making a game, for instance, because like a game was the most important thing to like a dumb little kid. Yes. Um, yeah, that's what they should okay, have done. Is here's how you would put graphics game. on the screen. Yeah. You're going to make a graph. We're going to make uh, a sprite or something, and then we're going to move it around on the screen, and then we're going to give it like if if they had showed us how to make a game oh if they God, just yes. sucked it up and been like okay how do we get how do we get kids to be interested in programming how will we have them build a thing that you know and like say yes this isn't this is going to be like a really lame game but you're gonna you could add to it and make it a real game yeah. like this is real yeah um, but 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 should they pander to my dumb ass no i mean <laughs> No, they should. They I, should teach that because kids would be like, "Oh my god, I made a game at at school." That's yeah. not a thing you associate with school is but to video be, games. But here's the thing: the basic book that came with my Trash Eighty showed you how to make a. Uh, it's it showed you how to move a thing around the screen and what have you. That's but it, game like. Yeah, I'm. It's that I'm stupid. It's <laughs> that, like it's that I. It's that I refuse to believe. It's not that I was like I understood the stuff, but it's it's that I refuse to believe that they showed me enough to build a thing on my own. Right. I, I, I thought, okay, I see this, and I see how this works, but, like, there's hidden information that I haven't gotten yet, and, uh, yeah, that's what... Not that they were trying to hide it from me, but that yeah. just that, like, they can't possibly put it all in this, like, this book that came with my computer. <laughs> like, yeah, programming has to be more complicated than that. Here. No, no, it's pretty simple, and you can make a game really easily. Yeah. Um, on my... When I finished my lessons in computer programming, I made games um, or demos. I made things like move across the screen and rocket ships go up. And I mean, on the C64, we had that um, that program that you could make text demos in almost like it was uh, Crazy Writer. Yeah, yeah. Crazy Writer. And, and yeah. we would make them back and forth to each other. Yeah. And we'd try and implement new things. But it was most it was a text writer on the screen. And yeah. You could clear the screen. You could scroll the screen, and we would see in real time. And it was real typing. time. It would record real time what you were doing. Yeah, and yeah. you could set the speed. It to was like you were fast. chatting. It was like what you would see in a chat, and except that it, each letter it put out. Whereas in a chat now, it waits till you press enter. And it goes on. <laughs> Imagine if if chat like streamed as you were typing. You're like, oh, see the corrections and the, <laughs> and, and and the fu's that got deleted when. <laughs> okay, that's, don't send that. You know? That's that's how, that's what it did. <laughs> that's how typewriters. ICQ used to do that. Did it real time typing? I don't remember. What's that? that? Sorry, ICQ. Which? Um, nag, nag, nag. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know, Thrust. I know. Um, I've been thinking really hard about it. Does that help? Nag, nag, nag? What? About making my own game. Oh, I see. On yeah, the yeah. 2600, which I have a billion ideas for, and I don't budget my time well. No, he actually budgets his time pretty good. Uh, I, but I Compared const- to a normal human. Well, true. But I, I mostly... <laughs> all my time goes into this show. That's why. Yeah, but that's not bad budget that's no it's you, just dedicating that's all you, of it that's you doing that's you accomplishing your goal the only failure is that you still think you can write a program and do all this other stuff <laughs> <I can't>, oh, <laughs> that's true <laughs> that is yeah. true so now we have an exclusive <clears throat> update for stone age which is a uh port of a tabletop game oh called caveman yes uh, which I played a long time ago. And was it on the Jaguar the that 80s. we played the previous? The, was it? No. We just did this. We did play this fairly on recently. the Jaguar, wasn't it? No. What was it on? We we did play a game with characters that had spears that were on multiple platforms. That's a game. No, but we've just played Caveman. <laughs> With the dragon, with the T Rex that I mean, it was definitely that on had this eggs system. that you steal. It was on this system. Oh, okay. It was definitely not. Was on it this one? Yes. It doesn't look the same though. Uh, I mean, it's, it's been updated. I'm gonna press the button. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, we, this is it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So is this system? Because we played Jaguar games, I think on the same. Oh time. no! I got eaten. Run! Run! You, you get it? Oh, I must have. Oh, no, I. I would. I. But how do you run? Oh, you go back. Do you, do you go back with the joystick? Okay, yeah, I did that. I didn't go. Oh, what? Oh, weird. You do have a limited number of things. You're out of them now. You're going to be in trouble. 
No, you have to wait till the egg gets there, then you can get it. If only the consequences weren't so high, I would feel like I had to try harder. <laughs> Okay, avoid the rocks the Bernie falling. Burns. Oh, there's they don't your get egg. the egg yet. Wait, wait. Now. But you do have to stun but him look, or he'll chew look. you up. What? Oh, you know what? What? I've got these, which shouldn't affect it, but... I did set those for the other game. Yeah, I do. But obviously it moves left because you start moving left, right? Yeah, in the last version, you didn't die. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It was very early version, yeah. so I was very excited about the game. Oh, yeah, that's... you got burnt. It cooked yeah, your egg. Yeah, I, I was just testing the movement. I want to switch this back. That's weird. Why would it be um, switches... Sorry, I just saw the T-Rex pooping out an egg, and it did this. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it closed its eyes. Oh, it's moving again. That was so good. What the? Oh, because I'd switched it in the middle of a game? Let's start this again. Because that's very interesting to know. <laughs> I can move back when I didn't have the egg, but after I hit him and had the egg, it just, I was stuck. So I don't know what that was about. Oh, now I can. Yeah. All right. I don't know, but that is something very interesting. Okay. Uh, it should be working again. Yeah, T Tix, T I X did the graphics on this, so you know it's going to be unbelievably good. Um, Award-winning graphics guy, Tix. Um, okay, so let's catch up with this game. Oh, he missed him squeezing out an egg. Oh, I've seen. Or her, I guess. Yeah, it would definitely be her. <laughs> or uh, a male dinosaur doing something very strange with the eggs. Um, how many stones do I get? You need to get six. No, stones, not oh. eggs. Stones? To throw at his face. Oh, you get uh -oh. three total. Oh, so I've used all three? Uh, no. Uh, maybe it gets replenished after you... Yeah, it gets yeah, replenished. Okay. So you get three per egg. I've got, like, a storehouse of... I'm gonna get chomped. No. Yeah, all your, uh... All your sticks are back home with your eggs. Uh, okay. Oh. Sometimes you just want to hit a T-Rex and... No labels. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Uh, they could be male or female. Remember, life finds a way. True! Uh, some... Yeah, it uh, mostly finds a way with females. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's mostly males switching to females in the animal kingdom. To... Or females not needing males uh, to reproduce That's when as well. necessary. Yeah. Spontaneous, what is it, immaculate conception <laughs> in, right. in animals. Oh. Um, but yeah, it's shown that uh, frogs can switch sexes based on environment or overpopulation, things like that. Oh, well, there's the one where oh, it's, shark I think it's pregnant. like a parrotfish and they all start, they all start uh, either as male or all as female. I can't remember which. And because it doesn't matter. The point is that one right. of them becomes like the big dominant one mm. and switches. Are you going to die? And there's We're... there's lots of fish, apparently, that... Uh, there's the egg. That, That's a fish that... That switch. But only once, right? Or do they uh, switch back? <laughs> who knows? Better who brush up on your parrot fish uh, I, don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? Okay. So we oh. played this last on November 10th. So about a month ago, uh, this one, this build is from um, to or yesterday. This because he, he sent me an exclusive update of the game. Uh, it's 49k. So on, I'll go through the updates. November 14th, uh, some graphics update. A uh, color tweak on the egg matches the caveman outline. So the caveman has a black outline. I find if you do have enough graphic fidelity, doing an outline around your creatures oh, or your characters, so, so nice. Like, look at the T-Rex. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Because it helps distinguish it a bit. It gives it a lot of contrast. It's the thing that made arcade video games better than home games. Yes. It's like the thing <laughs> that, uh, like, me as a... As, like, an ignorance of the time. Yeah. <laughs> that I noticed. hugely yeah, improves it's it. massive. Uh, because it, it's, it's the whole like, point of having higher resolution was to have that outline. <laughs> it's more like the like comic books, right? Because yeah. there's nothing wrong. There, there was nothing wrong with the original like uh, sprites. Oh no no, except the lack of outline. 
Uh, poor Dino, I feel for her. Yep, stolen eggs, constantly stolen eggs. Hey, if you don't want your eggs stolen, don't make them so tasty. <laughs> Apparently, humans taste like pork. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So, <laughs> uh, graphics, back tile, background tile changes, graphics uh, changes to splash screen. Oh, you got to shoot that when you have eggs that are vulnerable. You don't have any eggs that are vulnerable, so you don't need to protect them. But you will have to protect them going forward. Because not gonna happen. You gotta shoot it. There you go. Oh, it's so tiny when you shoot it. <laughs> it turns into a tiny, tiny little thing. Uh, engine pterodactyl randomly appearance uh, toned down. Uh, so you shoot straight up when you're shooting it out in the field, but when you're close to the dyno, it shoots it at an angle. Uh, okay. Uh, egg, egg stash de now depletes during uh, level intermission. Uh, player cannot pa walk past the dyno now. Uh, egg stash alignment was fixed. Uh, T-Rex na now lays eggs at rear and egg rolls to the front, as opposed to uh, hatching or uh, laying the egg at the front. Uh, engine fire button are now reversed. Uh, pokey sound effects added uh, for testing. It's pretty low for us. I don't hear any sound effects here. There we go. I'll turn them up a bit on the stream too. Every game is different. Every game is special. Uh, They're special, all right. Fix when a player has an egg and it and hits and hit it's not count counted in the stash or when you're hit uh november 16th updates uh the rolling egg graphics don't need to, oh my god can it kill you i think i it don't can. know it did touch you i feel like it can't kill you because mm. i think like that the way pixels oh the uh things the difficulty level increases because the uh mm. the, the ashes are falling not necessarily straight down and they're uh, they're falling. mostly going straight down though. Mostly, they're falling closer to you. Oh, th there's an angled one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, graphics pterodactyl sprite update. A pterodactyl. Uh, pterodactyl. I don't even know what that's from anymore. Um, there was a pterodactyl referenced in a commercial f that had a fake pizza place, and. The guy says, what am I going to do with a box? And the person making the pizza ah. is saying, you can make a pterodactyl. And he like does origami with the pizza box. This is like from the 90s. Oh, he's going to steal. There you go. He stole one already. That's why if you visit some remote location, they start talking about long pig. Run. Yes. Do not partake in the long pig It's okay feast. to participate. Just don't participate as... Don't be had for dinner. Yeah. Be, be, be uh, Have somebody over for dinner, but don't have them for dinner. Yes. Da, 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 da. Um, oh, there's so many updates. Um, and he also... Difficulty uh, selection. We're further away from the volcano, but it is oh. <laughs> more violent than ever. You're going to die. Move. Other way! But no. I was just looking at the chat. <laughs> you died because of chat. chat. Chat has killed you. I was talked to death. You are now the long pig. <laughs> <laughs> long pork. Uh, let's oh, go for pro. Yeah. Let's go for pro. See what pro has to offer. Well, pro immediately has angled. Mm-hmm. And it's good. It's, it's good. like level two. It just puts you to like level no, two. This, no, it's not level two. It's higher than level two. I think it might yeah. be level three or four. Oh, okay. So you didn't get the angled ones to like three or four? I'm pretty sure it was three, and I'm pretty sure I made it past three. I made it past the level with angled. Uh, oh my god. I need to shoot it when there's more room. And I feel like you have the small volcano that is very active so i think you're pretty much where i was when i quit now if you notice if quit, i stand not lost <laughs> if i stand here the close ones shoot it right at me like it, it doesn't yep. aim. you can't just stand still so it's best to wait shoot go in get oh it. and there's no pterodactyl on this one 
Not yet. Yeah, I think it's because the volcano got angry and they don't want to have the first level of angry volcano be also pterodactyly. Yeah. Am I still in the first? Yeah. Ah. Can I make it? Yes. Oh, it's from Airplane. I have not seen that movie. I really should. Maybe I should partake in all the 70s and 80s uh, movies like that at some point. Well, I don't I mean, think I've obviously seen... Marathon. Yeah, I don't think I've seen any of those. Um, kind of almost sketches tied together loosely in a movie with just non-stop jokes. What is that genre called? Um... Because there was a lot in the 70s like that. Mostly with uh, um, Leslie Nielsen. Yeah, were they like, they're like... They're not parodies. Well, they, they like were spoof. parodies. Yeah, spoofs. Um, because they were spoof. Is spoof a joke or is it like, is it a movie? I don't, I don't know if spoof... No, spoof. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a movie. It could yeah. be anything. But yeah, you could call it uh, movie spoofs. Where they were parroting, um, well, like space dis balls disaster movies. Stuff. Yeah, that's another of that genre. Parodies, parodies, and spoofs. Yeah, because they're um, riffing on disaster movies and yeah. spy movies. I didn't need to shoot that guy. I know you wasted a stick on him. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that again. Can you get a new stick if you go all the way back right now? Find Ooh, out. That's a good question because I need a new stick. Oh yeah. Okay, so it refills you. Okay, that's good to know. <clears throat> You may need to go back and get a stick. Depending on how many pterodactyls are coming down. No! No! Oh, well, I'm surprised and uh, pleased that you can move fast enough to get behind the pterodactyl. I thought it was going to be, oh, you have to... Uh, do you know what I mean? Like the pterodactyl oh. moves faster and so you couldn't get a second chance. Oh, yeah, that is good. Because some games are like, no, you, you missed your chance. Yep. Sorry. You're as fast as a pterodactyl. And that's the challenge, is that... Uh, and actually, you Can you judge it correctly, or whatever? Yeah. And usually, they... A lot of games just make it exactly the same speed as you. Yeah. Oh my god, I missed that. You have to keep in mind, we have super ultra bright lights in our eyes. It's not ideal for um, spotting tiny things, especially red circles on red backgrounds. I do enjoy the the colors of the sky, uh, an angry red sky that flashes when it spits out something from the volcano. Oh my god! It's giving me a reprieve of the pterodactyls. Uh, because the volcano has gotten angrier yet. Ah, so. so it's not... It's it's The thing about the volcano is that... It, it, it's oh, I'm not oh, saying it's one. actually harder, but it's mm. kind of harder when they move slow. Uh, yes. But it's a type of harder. It's not, like, objectively oh, harder. My oh, my God. Oh, that's, that's what happened. That's what happened. That's what happened to me, because when I first did it, I went right underneath and uppercutted him. And so when that you uppercut, you're stuck there. was a bug that said it was fixed. Ah. When you, I think, either get the egg at the same time you shoot, or he's doing something at the same time you shoot. Yeah. Dino sounds are still missing. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those parody movies went for a long time. Uh, into the 2010s? I don't think this is, They're dead, dead, dead now. Dead, dead, dead. Okay, your turn to play again, pro. Is this the hardest? Because I only want to play the hardest version. <laughs> this is the hardest. Starts you on a slightly higher level, which you did make it to, so. Here it is. Uh, Give me that egg. This, Ugh, this bug said it was fixed on December 4th. Player could knock out a T-Rex at the same time as triggering the T-Rex eating routine. This caused the player to lock in place then get eaten after the T-Rex awoke. Okay. 
Uh, good find by Tix as it was a frame perfect bug. So yeah, you have to do it at the exact time the dino well, it, bends it, down. It happened and eats. to me several times in a row. So really, you want to throw it before you get right yeah. up to it. And but then, I didn't know that at the time, uh, yeah. and so I was like, "Oh, I've got to get underneath so I can uppercut him," you know. And uh, still too easy, in my opinion. Yeah, pro maybe needs to start at just a little higher level. Because it's not like super, 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 super challenging. Just have, just leave it like this, and then have another level that's thrust level. <laughs> and it's like... Thrust edition. That's right. You're done. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna try the pro again. See if I can make it further. It was mostly me not paying attention to the, the the molten rocks coming down to kill me. Because the pterodactyl didn't hurt me. And I kind of got uh, um, it didn't hurt ripped your off because I triggered the bug. And I don't want to trigger the bug this time. So I'm going to shoot far away from... <laughs> Thrust compliant. Thrust compliant. <laughs> there you go. Ah. Yeah, I really have to pay attention to those close rocks. All you have to do is this. Listen and move. Listen and move. Listen and move. You don't even have to see it. And it only throws it up when you are away from from home. Uh, throws it up far? What do you mean? Like over here? Well, it throws it up on an angle. It doesn't throw it up on an angle at all if you're oh. underneath it. Oh, oh! I should wait here then. Oh, that's much easier. So it seems to be now, and this the, I don't think this was true before. It seems to like stop above you. Or like generally above you. That's but if you're moving like hint. that, like there were one in each direction, so I don't know if that happened because you were turning or mm, what. Don't know. Let's see. Some it does randomly. Some it throws right at you. I hope the mum eventually starts to move. Ooh, that would like closer or like stomps on you. That would be good. Because in uh, in the notes in the forum he says he's not going for he's not trying for a, a um, perfect port he does want to add stuff to it and that's great I love because people can play the original they don't they don't need another uh, exactly the same or even better is you make oh my god I lost my egg is you make a game that. Um, has the perfect original but then you make an another additional version that adds all the cool things that you want to add to it because some people like to play oh i want it exactly no i'm not gonna put the egg down for you <laughs> I want it exactly like the arcade or or whatever this in, this in this case is a tabletop game and um yeah so i i i like it when you do both like um and champ games does that a lot where they make um, champ edition mm -hmm. or, or champ level of difficulty and um, they add all the extras like two players when the game was originally only a one player game right right um, and that's awesome I, I love it so it satisfies both both types of people that want the original because some people are like oh I want the original the home experience of the arcade yeah oh I got him nice Actually, it's funny because, like, when you add, like, two-player, in some cases, it's like... Sometimes when you add a feature to a game, you're just, like, adding a feature. But sometimes it's like you're almost creating, like, a whole new game. Yeah, because it changes the dynamics yeah. of the game completely. And like Estra says, you know, it's the final part of the game that takes the most time anyway, yes. so... It depends on the thing. Some things, like they're, like when you have like modern games, like just building the world can be like yeah, the, a lot like of effort. I don't know if that The world it. or the engine, like it's really a crazy advanced engine, or the graphics. Ah. Uh, did he steal one? I don't think he even stole one. Then. Well, you had an egg, didn't you? I, uh, yeah. So but, he took it and he dropped one off, so it ended up the same. Oh, could be. I just missed the... Uh, but I'm not sure if you missed had Missed the trade-off, yeah. Oh, is that moon in the sky? Um, 
It was there certainly when you started playing. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's there in every. Uh... Oh yeah, maybe. Oh. Damn it. A lump of hot rock to the head. <laughs> It'll kill yeah. you every time. Yeah, it's it's not it's not pleasant. It's not good for your for in your case. health. <laughs> it can be all right if like it lands in water near you and you get a nice little steam. Sure. Little steam situation going on. Yeah, little steam bath you can whip up. You do have to keep moving in this game. It's better that they move faster because I, in, in some playthroughs, when they're moving really slow, you get trapped right like here. And it, I no, guess. that's what that's what I was saying before about it. There's a certain type of harder when they move slow. There's a certain, yeah. like, I don't know if it's... I think objectively it's easier, but due to impatience, it <laughs> makes it harder. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do not stay below the... No, no, that's a terrible place to stay. Now, is it too fast now to dance back and forth like you were doing before? Um, no, there's enough room. I meant right below the volcano. You were doing. Oh. You were literally right before, below the volcano when you did it before. Oh no! I triggered it. Oh, uh, my last life. Oh, well. oh, and it went right back to the screen. Oh, should definitely put in a delay, um, when you die, because I was like accidentally pressed a button when it said game over and it went boof, and my score is gone. So that's another thing to do. Uh, really cool improvements. Um, yep. and in this version that he uh that we're playing here was he cooking stuff before i don't recall that uh on he's like turning version, food so. on a spit no it was an update to it um egg stash sprites revised so that's new in this version that's going to be posted soon I'm, I'm guessing um caveman with egg sprites revised as well so the egg the egg look um he's also um updated to a new bank set scheme um it does not work on the Dragonfly. Um, supposedly it works on the 7800 game drive, which I don't have yet, but I'll have very, very shortly. Um, so I don't know if that means it st will stop working on the Dragonfly completely and you need the game drive, or it's just the first iteration and he's trying to make it work with the um, Dragonfly. But it is only 49k. So I don't know what the... Let's see how big the new bank set one is. Let me see. I don't know if it's bigger or just a different type of arrangement. So Stone Age, the new bank set. Oh, no, it is. It's uh, the new bank set is 90, 96K. So double, double the size. So he has more room for graphics and stuff, yeah. What doesn't work in the Dragonfly? Um, an unreleased <laughs> uh, version of this game. And it, we're using a new bank set, mm. uh, bank switching scheme, um, which is a 96K bank set switching. Bank set switching doubles the size always. Yeah. Um, but I just, I, it might just be not compatible right now with the Dragonfly. And he thinks it is compatible with the game drive. It might be just a temporary thing as he moves into the newer, bigger one to make it work with the Dragonfly. But I can say right now it doesn't work with it. It it loads like like instantly and just gives an error. So um, that is the last game. Um, excellent. Uh, very, very fun. I've always liked this um, this game because it has a lot going on. Like some of these tabletop games or handhelds or Game & Watches are like so simplistic. <laughs> they had completely given up on this happening. And the uh, the noise of them running from came from all the way upstairs. Oh, they are. They are. Sorry. I'm gonna. Oh, he's coming, okay. Come on, buds. Good kitty. It's it's second round. Second round of treat time. Like, what did we do to deserve this? You're cute. Yeah, you just like you did nothing. You yeah. just were born fuzzy. You were born that way. You were born fuzzy. 
Okay, let's... You actually did do lots. You are nice, and we like you, and you're nice to us. That's right. Okay, I'm gonna... Because if you were a trash animal, we would be like... <laughs> you're a trash animal. Let's not include you in our games. <laughs> I'm going to fix the spelling. Is that... Well, yeah. I remember. Yeah. yeah. Sprite, yeah. and then I'll fix the other. Sprite. Oh, meow. Oh, meow. It's so oh, tiny. Meow. I can read it from here. Ah, it's too big. Meow. Spirit. Right. There we go. Okay, let's start the predictions now. No raccoons allowed. <laughs> oh, I love those photos or videos of raccoons like right beside cats eating their food. They're like, and the cat's just like, mm. oh, well. <laughs> well, you are the biggest cat in the room. <laughs> And the raccoon's like, you're the smallest raccoon in the room. Yeah. Yep. I mean, they're so <laughs> Or something looking. like that. It's like, it's like there are certain animals that see each other as peers. They must realize that they're not yeah. raccoons. But they're like, you you're are... big enough to eat We're me. similar enough that, like, we're... We pay attention to each other. Because, like, so many other animals do nothing. Yeah. Barnstorming stocks! And Darcy Mine has... Are not, not that fun. They're just... <laughs> They're, they're fun, pretty fun. But they're not that fun. They're pretty fun. They're fun 1.0. They're not fun 2.0. But I did notice you have a hole in your heel. No. Yes, I do. And it's not imperceptible. <laughs> it is nope. quite significant. But it doesn't not. It takes very little time. Oh, they're both heels. You'll have to darn that sock. <laughs> yeah. No. Both heels. Yeah, I'll darn them into the, <laughs> to the darn. garbage. Chuck them in the garbage. <laughs> Last one is the Tari 3 Plus. Yeah, I, I can't get that one on the screen. It it has a scroll. And I mean, I could scroll it down manually, but that's not going to help anything. Um, maybe I can... Uh, I'll try and work on that off stream, but I, I did fix the height to... Hardly anybody bets on that one anyway. But, yeah, I was Good just luck. Say Good luck with that. It's probably a poor decision. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very poor... Oh, go to, your, go to your phone. Oh. Well, they already told us what we need to know. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's but, right. Uh, but sure. Yeah, nobody's betting on that. Oh, somebody is betting on that. Somebody bet on Atari 3 Plus. 20 bites on it. A wise decision. Just okay. to throw that Here in there. Here's what we see. Oh, it's gone. Well, I know that. No, in the chat. The chat would oh. be. Like when you click predict, but it's gone. You missed it. Next time. Next time. Who bet on the 3 Plus? Oh. Okay, cats. Are you ready? Darcy, are you ready? Just a sec. I okay. have to fix my phone, so okay. it makes noises. You want it to make noise? Well, I might I forget. I, don't. I thought of it now. Oh, insider tip. Ooh, Al Nefer. Oh, thrust. Thrust bet on the 3 plus for Atari. That's a risky bet, but you know what? He won all the money last time, so <laughs> he can pay, make that bet. He only bet 20. Okay, you ready? You're at the gate, and go. Come on. Atari gave you, there was a huge advantage. What is happening, cats? Get on your sides. There we go. Atari's off to the races now. Is he allowed to use the wrong button? Anybody's allowed to use anything. Um, yep. Because that's too hard to. They don't understand. I absolutely agree. They I just, would have been angry if you. Unless had they're said enclosed otherwise. in their own boxes, that doesn't work. 2 2. Atari is technically. Oh, now he's not in the lead. He was in the lead by. Uh, uh, a whisker. Oh, come on. Get it. Nope. There we go. 3-3. Three, 4-3. Three, three. Sprite's in the lead now. Technically. Technically. Oh. Atari is caught up. It's 4-4. Four, four. Don't encourage Sprite. I'm He's too good. I'm encouraging them. Yay! Atari's taking the lead. 5-4. Can he beat him by 3? Well, if you keep doing that, Sprite, he will. Sprite's got a malfunctioning button. Not yeah. really. <laughs> no, they both work just fine. Oh, Sprite's now in the lead again. Atari is close behind. He just got one. Yep, yep. Okay. Yeah. I put it. Yep. Okay. Uh, Sprite's seven six. Atari's keeping pace, but will he win? Oh my goodness! That, that was is... a big distraction for Sprite. Not at. Oh, oh. That was impressive. Oh, oh. Sprite gets that one. Atari's close behind. It is any cat's race. Any, oh, now it's not. Nine. It's game point. Tar needs to ring that bell. No, you got to ring it. Ring it. There you go. And this is it. And, oh, oh, Sprite did not get it. And he got it. It's over. 10-9. Wins by one point. Where's the lid? Oh, that's good. Oh, question. I put it here. It was me. Okay. 
Come on, Sprite, inhale him. So let's see what happened here. Good kitty. Let's go. Choose prediction outcome. So there was one person who bet on Sprite 3 plus, five on Sprite 1 to 2. One person on, on Atari 1 to 2, but big, big bet. I was the biggest bet. 5K on Atari 1 to 2. Okay, well, we're going to give it. It was Sprite by one. There we go. Very close this time. Very, very close. They were both on their game. Yep. They weren't as fast as the first game. Oh, the thing that impressed me most is when uh, Atari's treat went wayward, and he was like, "Mine!" Bam. Because there was a there was a point in time where like he, oh, he wasn't was. going for them, and like Sprite would like. Yeah. Well, he used to carry them off, which yeah. was which was terrible for the game. <laughs> Uh, so, winner uh, is Carl G. Bet the most and got the most back. But also, oh, I see. And there were four other people that bet what he bet. Yeah. So, yeah. five people split the pot, but Carl G. bet the most. And the whole pot altogether was 7,700 channel points. And you can spend those on saying, help, help, the, the stream is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or there's a problem. Uh, saying the stream is terrible does not fix the stream. <laughs> we're still going to be ourselves. Uh, you can highlight a message. You can say it's not couch compliant. Um, you can choose an emote to do something. I can't read the rest. Uh, to unlock, modify a single emote. You can trigger treat time with 5,000. Mm -hmm. Or you can trigger catnip with 5,000, mm -hmm. which was just enabled today. Um, okay, so we played a bunch of games. And we're going to do another poll. For which games you enjoyed the most, would play yourself, um, let's see, where is it, there it is, start the poll. Um, so we had Night Guy in Another Castle, Lear of the Ten Rex, St or Stone Age, so mm. let's um, go through those. Wow. Uh, Night Guy in Another Castle, always enjoyable from VHZC, of course. Yeah. Uh, we did find some bugs, which is super, super rare. Super rare. Multiple bugs. Amazing. Um, but if you find bugs, that makes the game they better. They were on which is all on the same screen, though, right? Two were. Oh, one of the bugs was the boss. First boss. Oh, yes. Where I was That's hitting right. it. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, what's that four for? I don't know. What for? For where? I don't see a four. I don't see a four. I don't know. Um, you have to tell me what the four is. Um, and we played Lear of the Ten Rack, which we suggested um, put speed on all the time. I don't know if they want to do that, but I I held down speed the whole time. It was much more. Why is the YouTube subscribers not in the same font? Because I don't it have... It says uh, in front of my name when I said one. Oh. I don't know. We don't say it. Oh, because of betting. It was the betting. So you can see going up, you can see twos and fours. Oh. That's who you bet on in the cat. Thank you for subscribing, Ricardo Pim. 36 months. Oh, my God. That's a lot. Um, yeah, Lear of the Ten Wreck. Um, great base to work from. Yep. Uh, it's really fun hopping around. It's very satisfying. And the... the it it was always this good, but we realized yeah. uh, that it was better when we realized the speed button. Oh, so much better. Oh, it's so much fun yeah. with the speed. So I think put that on all the time. Yeah. I don't see a reason to go slow. Maybe there is, but you can make, make it Make a reason to go slow and then have a slow button. <laughs> yes. Uh, ten rec is a kind of hedgehog. Never heard that word. Yeah. Yeah. We investigated it last time. We didn't do it oh, this time. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, that makes sense. So it's an alternative to Sonic. The That's hedgehog. what I was saying is when Ooh. I looked at the picture of it, there's like, oh, it's, it's, it looks. Boop. Boop. There's a picture. Yeah. We get muted when I switch over to that. Oh. <laughs> so I can't leave So it looks like Sonic. That's what yes. I was saying. Yeah. Yeah. It's and a, then, and then you around. were, and then, and then we were talking about it being foxes and I was like, oh, I guess Sonic. Oh. And for some reason I. I furted and thought, oh, Sonic is a fox. But no, Sonic, it's like in the name. Sonic. I thought it was a sequel a to Lyra the Nine Wreck. Oh, that's terrible. I was like, oh, there's what? There was a game? No, he's being silly. Ah. Lyra the Ten Wreck and mm. Nine Wreck. Gotcha. 
Boo. <laughs> um, some graphics to differentiate the things you pick up, like the colors, the platforms and the things you pick up are the same color. It would be better if they were different colors. I, I think the platform thing too, if, if there was a ledge that you were like a right. visual like line that was the... Oh, like a salt Because you jump up and you either you jump up and you land on the top, or you jump up. Either it hops you to the top, which or is, to do. is that what it's supposed to do? I think so. Oh, I think okay. There is a bug. Uh, I think oh, okay. that's been addressed. I think in the forums that it needs to be fixed because um, you don't want to be stuck in the middle. Because when you jump again, you do land on the top. It just senses yeah. like, oh, you've hit it. Therefore, you're okay. on it. Yeah. Because I guess there, it wasn't just two places, maybe. You might have actually been, like... Oh, anywhere. Yeah. Anywhere on it, yeah. And also, there's a gap on the sides where you can fall infinitely. That needs to be fixed as well. Um, and or you can... utilized as a game mechanic. True. I mean, it is kind like of... Like, if you a... go fast enough and then hit one of the one of the wrestling masks, then you knock it, like, out Ooh. cold. And... Yeah, you can get a power-up that'll clear them off the screen for a little while. I yeah. don't know. No, for the whole game. <laughs> it's, it's quick clear. anyways it's clear no i don't a... mean for the whole rest of the game but for that whole level or something oh yeah yeah maybe um and then stone age uh it's improved a lot yep is i don't know what else you could do add more things to it it looks great it plays Trust great. Said he wants to see mama move oh like stomp forward or something that would be cool <laughs> probably just for the animation itself would be awesome yeah, yeah. Um, so... And you gotta hit her twice. One to make her go back. And oh, again to knock her out. That's good. Yeah. That is good. And she won't lay eggs until she's back in her spot. Yeah. No, that would be good. And she'll just charge towards you to... Or she, or she lays an egg and, and, comes, and comes forward. Uh, and then you gotta, like, send her back and then knock her out. Yep. Because you can't go be past good. her. Nope. Nope. And you can make it so that you could go past her, but if you do, you get hit by the tail because she's knocked out, but her tail's all like, wah, 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 trying to keep balance. Oh, yeah, it could like swing back and forth, <laughs> something like that. I know. Yeah. Such good ideas from the... <laughs> from the Darcy. From the... What do you call it? Peanut when, gallery? Pe that's the gallery <laughs> I was thinking of, the peanut gallery. Okay, let's see what's coming up on the show. We have some huge game uh, days to end the year. Um, yeah, the there next... aren't very many days until the end of the year. And we're taking a little break. But uh, the next show is tonight, actually. Uh, tonight, nah, it's going to be at not 6. I think I'm going to make it 8 p.m. Uh, just to give us a little bit more time to eat dinner. I'm going to change that up. Uh, but we're going to be finishing off the Atari Jaguar's 30th anniversary classic game and countdown by finishing off the last 24 ga uh Games. Are there any games of note that uh, you would like to mention that uh, sure. will draw the... the viewers in? Yes. Um, there's Defender 2000. Uh, there is Space Ace and Dragon's Lair. Oh, Dragon's Lair. Yep. Missile Command 3D. I thought of Dragon's Lair in when it was in the arcade. I thought... What? Sorry, Vitoko. I thought it was <laughs> fake. I was like, that's, that's not, not a even a game. game. It's that's a cartoon. Like I'm not saying it is or isn't, but like I didn't, I didn't count it as a game. It's a cartoon that steals quarters. <laughs> it was a choose your own adventure. Yes. That has, mostly has you die on the next page. It it is. <laughs> it is. You have nine wrong moves and one good one. It's not clickbait. We're telling you actual things that are actually happening. These are real. Yeah. And uh, the last copy of. Ever. Supercross 3D is going to be deleted if you don't watch. That's clickbait. Yeah. Um, or just a lie. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Atari Karts, Mist. Tanya's one of Tanya's favorite games, Mist. Um, let's see. NBA Jam. I don't like it, but everybody else seems to. Uh, Breakout 2000. Worms. We'll end up with worms because that's the last. Uh, we'll all have worms by the end. Uh, that's the last game that was ever released in 1997. Uh, so a bunch of good games there, I believe. I don't. I didn't feel like I had freedom of movement when I tried it back. Well, you didn't really. You're just choosing the next move. It wasn't. Now missed is click wait, click what? Click wait, click wait, not click bait. Uh, that's kind of the same thing. Like mist was not a. It was interactive, 
but you couldn't move freely. It was so it was so popular too. Oh my god! Um, and then on next Tuesday we have. Uh, but John... I never played it, so I might have liked it if I played it. I'm. Yeah, it's a puzzle I'm not, game. I'm not picking on it. I... Uh, we have uh, John Shampo live via video. Uh, we'll be unboxing his new games. Elevator Agent and Turbo nice. Arcade. That's on the 12th, next Tuesday. And uh, then we have some exclusives. Exclusive world premiere of Raiding Rivers. And also an exclusive update of Jumping at Shadows, both for the Jaguar. That's next Friday. And then on Sunday, uh, the 17th, we have Atari Age Day. 2023 live unboxing of all the new Atari Age games as they make their way into the Atari Age store. And we'll be talking with all the developers, every single developers of a huge stack of games. It's going to be about eight hours long, literally. It's going to be eight hours long because we're talking with each developer, each game, not each developer, but each game, 20 minutes each. And some developers have multiple games. So some of the people in the chat, Carl G, are going to be here on uh, the 17th to talk with us about their new games. That's going to be very, very cool. And uh, then uh, we'll have a New Year's Eve special. Oh, actually, we have the Holiday Homebrew special with Muddy Vision's secret new game. What could it be? <laughs> we don't know. And uh, we also have Last Stand Halloween, which is a holiday game because there's actually uh, Christmas themes in it after you get through the Halloween. Then there's more holidays as well. It needs to be renamed Last Stand Holiday or something. Like <laughs> holiday Edition. Holiday Edition. Instead of Halloween. because All it's... Holiday Edition. Yeah. Uh, and then the New Year's Eve special. Click here for the holiday you wish to play. That's right. <laughs> Please select which holiday. How many games in total of... Oh, I can't read that. He's got like an underline and then he put a colon. Uh, of what? Uh, oh, for the Atari Age Day. Um, let me bring up my list here because I don't. I think it's around twenty-four game uh, games. Let's see. Uh, let's go to the events. Atari Age Day. The schedule. I'm not going to show you guys the schedule because there's information I can't put on there. Uh, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three games, and uh, Thomas will be there as well, talking about Bot and Tom. Um, so twenty-three winter solstice on the twenty-first, but well, we're not here on the winter solstice. Uh, that's on the twenty-first, right? Usually December twenty-first. Uh, Winter yes, solstice? it's between it's the twentieth, the twenty second, uh, apparently, but yeah, it does. Twenty first is twenty first. Uh, always, uh, it's almost always twenty first. I think it might stray sometimes. Mm. Uh, for our uh, where we are, it's seven twenty seven p.m. Pacific time. Um, but it only matters in the morning and at night. Yeah, it's like it's like the sun. It doesn't sets. have a specific time. I mean, it, I guess it has a specific time. It does. But the thing that's relevant is that it's the shortest day. Yeah, that's the relevancy of it. Yeah. And seven. So like, how does it? How does it? How does it mean anything for the solstice to be seven twenty-seven p.m.? Like, it has to be a day because the point is that it's the shortest day. I get that. That's the point at which it's furthest. Not from uh, the sun. But it's furthest in its cycle. Yes. For, I get that. It's but. it's the angle of the tilt in relation to the position of the sun. Yeah. Because right now we are um, at the part where it's the most angled from the sun. So we get colder weather. Yeah. And the southern hemisphere is more direct sunlight. We so get, they get it, hotter yeah. weather. We get less, the farthest tilt, less yeah. energy. Yeah, and so it leads. And to then when it yeah. goes around the other side, this tilt is the same, but now when we're in the daylight, yeah, we are tilted in the northern hemisphere yeah, more yeah. towards the sun. Yeah, but yeah. what I mean is that the the solstice is the period of night versus day comparison. 
Um, so it's interesting that they put an hour on it. Yes, yeah. there, there must be like <laughs> I'm sure in the olden times they weren't like what hour are we? <laughs> no, they don't. I'm but, pretty but sure that the solstice is the day. It's favorite day of vampires. But but the yes, time is, is still yeah the favorite it, day of vampires. Yeah yeah. Yeah, they're able. I well, mean, they get longer if they go far far enough north. They can be like ah, oh, we love this month. Twenty four hours a day. Yeah. Yeah, I mean if you if you if you were a vampire. And especially today, you got the internet. If you could get the, oh, if you get yeah. satellite internet or something, You're you just set. live. You just have two houses, one floating on the North Pole and the other one solidly on the South Pole. No, and then you just go from one to the other, and you have twenty four hours a day. In vampire lore, in whatever movie book, if you did live north, north, north during mm -hmm. the winter solstice, and it was twenty four hours dark. Mm -hmm. Do vampires need to rest still? No, Usually, that is the point. Is yeah. that you don't have to because you only have to they you only have to hide during the day. Because they only seem to go in their coffins to hide, basically. But that's but that's But they also close their eyes and they mm, I'm gonna sleep, I'm gonna rest. Yeah, yeah. But but it's like in real life In real life, in real life vampires. It was, in real life vampires, it was vampires last time. They wasn't only it? have to rest because the sun is like on their tits so hard. Yeah. And they're just like, ah, I'm fine, I'll go to sleep. Yeah, might as well rest. The sun is gone. But why wouldn't they have like a game room where they played video games <laughs> yeah. while the sun was out? Why did they go in their coffin? Why did they go Because in the oppression of the sun. It's too close. <laughs> well, like, yes, the yes, safe room. Yes, the house or the 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 cave or whatever they're in yeah. keeps them from being burnt, but it doesn't keep them from <laughs> Being sad about the sun being up <laughs> and not I'm being able sad. to, it's, it's they're just goths. They're goths. They're all, I can't go in daytime. I can't go in the sun. And when goths they're on the North Pole, they're like, Well, there's no sun anyways. I don't feel bad about it. They're Everybody has no sun. Goths with superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> but I all goths have superpowers. <laughs> Somebody's got a case of the lies. Yeah, vampire HR. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you'd have to make it work, but here the thing vampires is, the in outer space. I think the vampires, I think the vampires, yeah. should be able to arrange for such things. They would Here's just cause question. some war or something, and be like, "Okay, we need to have the internet over the North Pole." Now, it, there's been lots of I've seen jokes about Someone's telling got a, a case of the Julys. Telling a vampire that. Oh, by the way, the moon is just reflecting the sun, and then they turn to the light on fire. <laughs> yeah. Now, somebody mentioned an outer space where yeah. the sun is, there's nothing blocking the sun in all yeah. directions, unless yeah. you happen to be in behind a, a planet or something. See the documentary Life Force. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. If you had a fully enclosed suit and a camera, and inside the suit they had a TV screen that they could see what's on the camera, could they go outside? Because so by it, the same logic of the moon... In real it, life, vampires... <laughs> in real life. I explained it to you. In real life, vampires are oppressed by the sun. They fall asleep because the sun is up. And so they could not go to space because the sun would be up. All the time. Yeah. And they need the, they need the security of the planet. <laughs> or maybe it's just the myth, mythology of the planet. It is day or night. And yeah. vampires are ruled by day or night. Right. And so, so the whatever causes day, them. whatever causes night. It's more about how it's why the they can't come out during an eclipse it? because the moon is is real and solid and can that's, genuinely block the sun. That's a very short time frame for vampires to have a party. Depending on which planet you're they on. They go, woo! Okay, we've got to get back inside quick. <laughs> and eventually... On Kralian, the, the sister planet is big enough to have a long <laughs> eclipse every day. Yeah. Um... Eventually, the moon is getting further away from us. So vampires will not be able to come out during eclipses soon. Because the moon will appear smaller. So and there will still yeah, be yeah, sun, yeah. There'll be a ring of sunlight. We'll never see that in our, our lifetime. Yeah. But the moon used to be really close to the Earth. Yeah. Sun yep. blockers, maybe 50 plus should do it or no. Yeah, just lots of sunscreen. Lots yeah. of... There is a, um, there was, or is, I don't know if it's still around, an industrial band, industrial goth band called SPF 1000. It was the most hilarious name ever. <laughs> um, so, on that note, I think we are done. Um, 
thanks for hanging out with us today. Um, it was a lot of fun, as per usual. Playing some awesome games made by the community. Ding, ding, ding. Um, oh, oh, wait, sorry. Carl like G guy. said Starlight is just further away sunlight, but it's not. It's further away starlight. <laughs> Only Sol is the sun. All yep. other stars are stars. That's they have their true. own names. Or they could be far away enough that it's like, just it just doesn't do enough. No, it's that they're not the sun. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Vampires also live forever, which is not, you know, like explainable by science. Yeah, but in real life. But in real life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Dan. Um, thank you for tuning in. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I always love playing these awesome games by the community. Um, thanks, Dan. Thrust, Gamma Dev, a VR be Poca. New light, not new old light. light. Oh yeah, it degrades. It can't be more than eight those, minutes. Those old. photons are just so old. Can't be more than eight minutes. That's right. After eight minutes, you're safe. Yeah. Um, Gamma Dev, VR Poca, Pseudo Graphics, Carl G, Vitoko. Uh, Danny VC already said that. Ricardo Pym. Uh, let's see who else. Al Nefer, Ivory Tower Collections, Prow Seven. Uh, lots of repeat people. Veach at sea. Thank you for tuning in and making that awesome update to your game. Hopefully, we helped out by finding some some issues that you could fix up. Uh, who else? And that's it. A lot of the same people talking, which is awesome. Um, you two subs at 2001. Yes, we celebrated at the beginning of the show. Thank you, everyone, for subscribing to our YouTube channel. And um, here's to uh, when we celebrate when it gets to 2600. <laughs> that's the next milestone. Then 5200. Then 7800. Um, we should have celebrated at 800. But I don't know if we were doing 8 bit oh. uh, oh my goodness. 8 bit games. Oh my goodness. Atari, we should have done it at 400 and 800 and then 2600. What other numbers? We are did, there? James. Don't you remember? Oh, yeah, we did. Good show, <laughs> nag, nag, nag. But uh, the 1200, there's an Atari 8 bit that was at 1200. Uh, there's lots of great numbers that we can celebrate at. Yep. Yep. Uh, and you're, 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 you've got to pay attention now to celebrate the 2600. I do. Uh, also, we can celebrate again with the Twitch numbers because we're yep. at 1,373, so we can do the 2,000 again there. Uh, 65 XE, yeah. 65 should have been a celebration. <laughs> 600, 1,200, yeah. Well, we already passed those, so it's too late for those. we got many to go. Uh, yeah, we're done. And uh, so we'll be back tonight. Not this guy. The cats will be. And Tanya. And I'll Darcy be on will, a ferry. Darcy will be back. Uh, I'll be on a boat. Not for a long time, unfortunately. So long. I'm sure you'll all miss me. But don't worry. It's temporary. The time will when fly you, by. When are you back? You're back not for the next one on the 19th. Are you? Let's see. Let's look. Eight. You know, we're not here on the 22nd. Yeah. I think the 20... Next one will be the 5th. Yeah. The 22nd, I... Th January 5th. Yeah. So you have a long break. You have a month. Month break for Darcy. Uh, so you'll see him uh, then. Uh, oh, yeah, the 2800. That's right. Uh, that was released in Japan. The Atari 2600 as the 2800. Why? Mm. I, I have no idea. Uh, because do they like eight, that number? Yeah, they do. Eight. A Four Chinese, is bad and eight is... That's Chinese. But it's, isn't don't they use the same, like, digits? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know if the superstition carries over. Oh, it's the pronunciation that sounds like. So I think it's the characters. Yeah. The I don't characters know the, are the same. But yeah. do, are the pronunciations in Japanese? Well, the Japanese? pronunciations have to be different. Yeah. So Thanks, Rest. Happy holidays to you as well. Yes, happy holidays. Um, yeah, the 2800 has nice controllers. It's Isn't it the 7800 controller? I can't remember. Um it would be pronounced differently, and the way the reason it's four is bad because four in Japanese sounds in, like death. Sounds something. like the same pronounce yeah. or similar to the pronunciation of death. So mm. in Japanese, it probably doesn't sound the same as death. Maybe it sounds like some other word, but I, I'll have to research that. I never thought about that. Um, so we're done. Well, that doesn't no. make sense to not live on the fourth floor then, because four doesn't sound like death in Chinese. 
And so <laughs> you're not on the fourth floor. Also, you could just pretend if you live on the fourth floor here, you could just pretend that you count in British numbers and then you're on the fifth floor. That's right. And if you're on the fifth floor by British numbers, just be like, no, I'm in Canada. That's the fourth floor. And That's also right. just Doesn't never count. say, never say the floor you live on in or, uh, Mandarin or Cantonese or whichever. Right. Whichever yeah. it sounds like. Yeah. yeah, just say it in English. Four. Yeah. We've solved it. Solved the problem. <laughs> solved the now problem. you can build level fours everywhere in, in, <laughs> in China. Um, what was I going to say as well? Oh, no. I forgot. Oh, yeah. There's a... There's a mall here in Vancouver, in Chinatown, that's on 88 Pender Street. I think it's, well, it's on 88 something. Um, and eights are good luck. Yeah. It's, it's a bad mall. <laughs> it's so empty. Like, there's so few stores in it. It's never <laughs> done well. It has a great theater in it, but like half the stores are like empty and always been empty. It's so, it's done very, like, so, yeah. Or are you it was talking not about, lucky. Are you talking about? Tinseltown. Tinseltown, okay. Yeah, which yeah. is not called Tinseltown anymore. Yeah. It's called something else. Well, um, that's a mistake. Yeah, Tinseltown sounds awesome. But also, like, Cause it was if you theater. keep the name, you can, like, maybe build some, like, I don't know, maybe they felt like they had to change it. But, like, what yeah. are you going to do? Trick people into going there? And they're like, wait a minute, this is Tinseltown. <laughs> you tricked me into going to the crappy place. No. <laughs> I don't get why... Living on level six is where all the fun happens in English-speaking countries. What you need is... Yeah. yeah. Weird, because six in Japan move, is yeah. Roku, and somebody named a computer that. Oh, interesting. Don't give your floor, just your distance from the center of the Earth. That's right, absolute absolute distance, or you can do above sea level. I am three floors above sea level. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're done. Bye-bye. Uh, we'll see you tonight for some Jaguar games. And then again on Tuesday? It's the next one? Yes. Then again on Tuesday for some more gaming action. What is Tuesday? Oh, John Shampoo. Very exciting. Okay, we'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.